Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the 2023 Pokemon Let's Go tournament. I'm Trevaria, one of the just 13 remaining competitors, and I will be on commentary for this race today. I am once again joined by Sheepyo. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm also doing good. Very excited for this race here. Uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be a close one. I hope. So uh, let's just take a look at today's competitors. Uh, first up from part one uh, out of last round, we have Ergate, who struggled a little bit last round, uh, got a 3.11 uh, after getting his first fastest tournament time so far uh, the previous round with a 3.05. Uh, he'll have a lot to prove today after that, especially considering who his competitors are. And speaking of which, uh, from part two, with a round three time of 3.08, 36, it's Dynam, who maybe sabotaged himself a bit last round trying to pull off some new safety strats. Uh, question is, will we see him return to form today? Because I think he kind of has to. And then last up, it's Furist with around three time of 308.57. Uh, they've been steadily improving throughout the tournament, but uh, they'll have to beat two excellent runners today if they want to stay in the competition. So yeah, exciting race. I hope. Uh, what are your thoughts, Sheep? Yeah, it's looking to be a somewhat uphill battle for Furious, looking at these other two. Um, but we've seen a lot of stuff happen this tournament. A lot of upsets, especially in these later rounds, so anything can happen, and probably will. This wouldn't be the first time that we've seen Pickums and Shambles after a race, so uh, yeah, definitely don't count Furious out here. Well, uh, are the runners ready to go, Sheep? I think they're almost uh, ready to start, yeah. Now we are just loading up into the game. Uh, just to remind everybody, this is a lower bracket match, so it is an elimina elimination race. Uh, only the winner gets to stay in the tournament. Second and third place will be eliminated and won't get another chance. Uh, All right. Looks like there are some issues right at the start, but Dynamo and Furist are good to go. And so is Ergo now. That's good. All right. So we have two EV runners here today with Ergo and Fury, uh, where Dynamo's running Pika. I'm glad to have at least one uh, <laughs> Pika runner here. Yeah, it's. Uh... It, it's it's been a close battle between the two games three boy ones I am disappointed <laughs> we're gonna have a have a have to have a word with those three after the race yeah this is uh who will Phoenix root for now commentary <laughs> I guess that'll have to do. <laughs> All right. So the next big thing is who's going to take the options menu uh, the best and who's going to struggle a little bit. Usually everyone should have this down by now, but uh, in my last, I don't know how many practice runs, I have somehow inexplicably been struggling with the options menu. So, you know, sometimes it happens. Yeah, sometimes. I I have the same thing, like some runs I just, I can't seem to like press down and I just like fast, slow, medium, fast, like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is. Sometimes my stick, I think it's just because my Joy-Con is like a release date Joy-Con. Uh, it's just age. It doesn't take the inputs as well as it used to, but none of our runners here today struggle with it at all. If he was to take it a little slower, so he's lagging behind like a second now, but that's completely... that won't make a difference, I hope. <laughs> all right, they're about to catch their starters. As per usual, we will be able to determine whether Dynam's Pikachu is a uh, neutral nature or not, just based off of the CP. 
EP value in the upper right corner during the catch, 27 CP will mean a neutral Pikachu and 26 will mean any other nature that actually affects the stats. And we have a neutral Pikachu for Dino, that's very convenient. Yeah, that's, you always love to see that. It's very uh, reliable for a race setting because if you see 26, yeah, you can get like really good natures plus attack plus special attack, but you can also get like bold or something minus attack, you know, uh, and that would be pretty bad. So seeing neutral here is probably a good thing for Dynam. The other two, yeah. yeah. R running right. bold would be bold. That would be pretty bold, yes, uh, and probably also not the smartest choice. Um, now, Ergo and Fury will either have to check their nature in the lab, or will have to wait till the Caterpie Trainer and Viridian, Viridian Forest to check their stats on Level Up. I think it's been pretty popular to check stats with EV runners, but uh, in the in the previous round, Ergo they didn't check. Didn't he check. Also yeah. said, so he was like. I'll just go. I, I, I don't care what I get. I hope I get yeah. something good, but if it's something bad, I'll, I'm experienced enough to, to be able to run. Right, and it's only like... Checks uh, yeah. It's only, a, what, like three seconds, but... It's like five to ten seconds, depending on how fast you mesh through the menu, but yeah, no one's checking. All right. Makes sense. YOLO. Yeah, I mean, I definitely understand that you don't want to take that 40 to 45 second penalty for loading a backup safe in an elimination race. Yeah. Uh, that is quite the deficit to come back from. Uh, so perhaps that is why no one is checking their stats. I mean, again, Dynam already knows that uh, his Pikachu is neutral nature, so he doesn't even have to worry about it. Yeah, it's just really punishing. I actually also, I, I don't, I don't really know how, uh, how bad it is for Eevee to have like minus attack or minus special attack. I know in Pika version, minus speed is basically doesn't matter, right? You cannot, you can run minus speed, doesn't matter. Uh, minus special attack, you just have to make sure that you get to level 30 by the time that uh, you hit Jesse and, J uh, Jesse and James 3 in the Pokemon Tower. Just minus yeah. attack is the problem with Pika. Yeah. Um, I would say Minus attack and minus special attack are, are not as bad as minus attack on Pika for Eevee. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something you also can just fix with having high EXP. Mm. Yeah. Um, but they're like some fights that, I mean, none of the fights are dangerous. They're just like take some fights take a few extra, like take an extra turn. Yeah, I mean, usually. Uh you would like to avoid those extra turns, of course, since it's a speed run. But uh, as long as it's not outright dangerous, like you don't lose time because you uh, actually have the EV faint, then it is probably something you take. You still take over those 45 seconds flat time loss from loading the backup. Yeah, I, I would say maybe minus speed is even more dangerous because then you can get outsped by like the Pidgeotto's on rival and get sand attacked and that's something that can really ruin a fight. Yeah. Looks like both EVs are neutral attack. Yep. Just from looking at the damage that Tackle did there, looked a little too low to be a low roll from uh, plus attack, so I think just neutral. Which at least rules out minus attack.
Nordanum will see his stats on the very next fight against the Radata. Uh, obviously knows his general stat spread because he knows his nature. But we will also get to see the first AV uh, from the level up, which um, may give us a clue what characteristic Dynamics Pikachu has. Yeah, the characteristics are... Uh, we have natures, that's... For people who haven't really watched this game during the tournament much, we have talked about it in the past. But where we have Pokemon natures that, like, most Pokemon games... Or all Pokemon... Basically all Pokemon games have. That, like, one stat is, bo bus uh, is, is, is uh, boosted is buffed and one set is like slightly lower um in this game we also have um more more pronounced um uh, the awakening values the avs and uh, there's a characteristic that says like tells you basically which is the more likely characteristics in certain circumstances yeah so um, uh characteristic exists in other Pokemon games as well and just tell you what the highest IV is of the Pokemon. Uh, but since the starters in this game have 30 IV across every stat, uh, it doesn't really give us any information on that end. It does give us information about which stat is uh, preferred on the AV distribution. The AV distribution isn't generally random, but uh, it's going to prefer uh, the stat that is covered by the characteristic. Uh, Dynam's first AV went into defense, so that could mean that this Pikachu has a defense characteristic, which would yeah. be capable of taking hits, yes. Yeah, and in case, like, for... Uh, they are somewhat, like, intertwined with uh, the natures, because if you have, like, um, a lower stat um, in something, uh, for example, uh, well, we, we'll see it later, but um, Modest gives plus attack and minus uh, attack. Um, yeah. You can't get attack AVs uh, normally because it's like a lower, lowered stat. And so that will go into whatever your characteristic is. And so that's why a characteristic is more likely to get AVs in a certain stat. You can get an attack characteristic and minus attack. Uh, and that can actually be something that's really advantageous. Fury just dodging a back there last second. Yeah, nice throw. Uh, yeah, just looking at the stat spreads, I'm not super well versed in the EV stat line, but it did seem like Fury has plus special attack and also got an AV in special attack. At level six. I think Ergo just got the AV in special attack. But I wasn't able to determine uh, his EV's nature from looking at the stats, sadly. Maybe some EV experts in chat can tell me what's going on. Yeah, I, guess we'll I, I, see. Did, yeah. I, I didn't catch the stats at all, otherwise, I. Yeah, I guess we'll see in a, in a minute here when they teach uh, double kick at level 10. Venom caught his first Caterpie. Meanwhile, Fury already also on the hunt here, going for a Pikachu first. Ergo actually, yeah, caught a Pikachu early and can use that for the fight. Since that Pidgey usually is pretty annoying for Eevee, you can't one-shot it, so it can use an attack on you and really yeah, really yeah, the, be very annoying. The, the bane of every speedrunner. Sand attack, Absolutely. minimize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am very familiar with minimize after my last race. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fury just kind of waiting for things to spawn. Alright, there we go. A Weedle. Yeah, we, we just... Uh, um, in the forest, we, uh, we picked up a lure. And um, that's an item in this game where you spawn more Pokemon, um, one more Pokemon than normally can spawn in an area, 
and they're also one level above the maximum level they normally appear in the area. Um, since this game, most of the XP you get from catches, uh, catching something that's a higher level just is very advantageous. So uh, yeah. that's why you sometimes see them not go for, they're like three Weedles already, but they spawn before the lure, so they are a lower level, and so you see people waiting for yeah. um, something to spawn in the lure, so it's a higher level and gives more EXP. Not just that, and if things spawn at a higher level, they also take fewer level ups to evolve, and each level up generates an extra text box that you have to mash through, so it takes up time. Uh, well, Fury and Ergo are looking for uh, the bugs, can also catch a Pikachu if they see one, and the Buzzsprout here in Forest. There's also a very rare chance of uh, encountering a Bulbasaur, uh, didn't see one so far. Uh, Dino, meanwhile, yeah. S sadly not. Well, it is very rare. Zero point five percent chance. Uh, for Dino, it's basically the same, except that he cannot catch the Pikachu. At least it doesn't really matter since it won't. Uh, he already has Pikachu registered in his decks. Um, so it would kind of be a waste of time. And then uh, instead of the Buzzsprout that is version exclusive to Eevee, uh, he can catch an Oddish and he has already caught it. Uh, and that is actually really useful for the upcoming Brock fight because it knows Absorb, which is buffed in this game to 40 power. Uh, special grass type move, so it's super effective against both of Brock's Pokemon and uh, can really do a lot of damage. Uh, whereas Eevee, Eevee's Bellsprout isn't really that useful since it only knows physical grass type moves and, well, the rock types in Rock's Gym are generally pretty physically bulky. Yeah, I see according to uh, Gavin in chat, uh, Furious mm -hmm. has Rash with special tech AV. So th that could yeah. be very good. That is really good, yeah. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's been a minute since I played Pika, uh, since I played Eevee, but uh, just special attack, if I recall correctly, is pretty nice to have. Yeah, I would say that um, you want like one or two AVs or two AVs in attack. Hmm? Uh, more don't really matter much, don't really gain you much extra, but having a high special attack is really good. Uh, and that can save you a lot of uh, time, just saving turns uh, in the in the in the mid game. Yeah. All right. Plus speed minus special defense for Ergo. Plus speed is actually pretty okay. Like this is a runnable nature uh, for EV. Uh, naive. Yeah. Speed. The plus speed nature actually has a benefit for Eevee. You can outspeed some stuff in the mid game, like uh, a couple of eradicates. You don't really have to worry about your experience going into the uh, Revel 3 fight. Uh, but you take the penalty of the minor special defense. So stuff like uh, Jesse and James's wheezing will do more damage to Eevee. Yeah, but out of all the natures, I would say minor special defense is the best one to have. Probably, yeah. At least, at least in my experience, like the physical things are more dangerous. Like the Persian on Giovanni becomes way more dangerous with minus yeah. defense, and yeah. um, that's like, and you just don't want minus attack or minus special attack or minus speed. Absolutely, I guess I'm kind of pika brained where minus speed is usually the best thing you can get because again. You may get outsped by one more thing if you don't hit level 30 uh, by a certain point, but uh, in general it doesn't have any other downsides for Pika to be minus speed. But yeah, it makes sense. M minus swift defense, probably the best that Ergo could get with that. It's going for a glowing wrath catch here, very nice um, yeah. catch Dino for playing, the end game. Dino playing Let's Go Oldish. Oh! The level 7 Oddish, right, he didn't see anything on Route 2, so he actually had to use growth, I assume, in turn 1. I didn't uh, pay yeah, too much attention to, here. he started with growth. Yeah, your stats are a little too low to get good knockouts uh, in the gym, so you just use growth once, which buffs your special attack by one stage. 
Uh, so increases it by 50%. Um, and that at least gets, I think, a four turn fight here where a level 9 and especially a level 10 Oddish would have gotten a two turn. So usually you want to catch something like the Radata if you caught uh, um, the Oddish in Viridian Forest like the Anim did, but uh, nothing spawned, so he just kept on going instead of resetting the route. Yeah, you're not going to respawn it. The route for to hope for Red Red Redata in that uh, yeah Redata in that if he still needed the Oddish, like if he left Viridian Forest without the Oddish and then oh, yeah. no Oddish spawned on route two, you of course you're gonna roulette. reset since you won't even be let into the gym without a grass type or I guess a water type, but no one's trading. So, uh, Brock two walls not in this game. The famous Gen One glitch where you can just like walk through walls. Oh no, not in this game. Surprisingly well programmed. <laughs> Alright, then I'm doing the shop here. Let's see if he buys the X defense. Or if he does general. No, it looks like he's doing general safety strats. Uh, usually Pika buys uh, an X defense here. But uh, for the tournament, you see people drop the X defense and instead buy an extra burn heal. This keeps the uh, what we call God menu alive for the early game where uh, everything is in. Just like one or two inputs away during battles while you menu. Uh, but at the same time, you have the added safety of a burn heal in case you get like burned on Misty or you get paralyzed on Jesse James 2 and have to use one of the uh, full heal items. So you have the burn heal for Blaine later. It's just really nice. But it looks Sandy like we lost. Yeah, yeah, Sandy Beach blaming the EU. I mean. Tri Triff, you and I are from the EU. Uh, Ergote is EU. Uh, Jordan isn't EU anymore, but he's uh, doing tech, so. It's, uh... I have to fact check that. <laughs> a, a lot of EU is, uh, is still going, uh, is still working. Yeah, yeah. All right. But we did also see a little bit of stuttering come out of Argote. Uh, like, Argote's screen has been stuttering on and off, but I'm sure that tech is right on top of it. Meanwhile, Dana bought a magic carp and entered Mount Moon. Mount Moon, the next big catching section right after Brock uh, on the way to Cerulean. Uh, runners typically want to catch three things here uh, Clefairy, Paras, and Geodude in descending order of importance. Uh, Clefairy, definitely the highest experience catch here. And the goal is to hit level 15 by the time you enter Cerulean City, since that is the requirement you have to meet uh, in order to be led into Misty's gym. Yeah, and these EX would, yeah, EXP can be a bit tight here. You do need some good catches. Definitely. Usually you want to um, see at least one glowing catch in here. Ideally the Clefairy, that will just make things so much easier. But, um, you know, you don't always get what you wish for, so you just glowing take anything. Geodude is, a glowing Geodude is also uh, helps. Oh, definitely. Anything glowing really helps. Since then, I also didn't catch anything on Route 3. There are two optional catches that can spawn, I guess three, but two more regularly um, for Pikachu version in Sandshrew and Mankey. Dynam won't run into this spinner this race. <laughs> um, didn't see either, I think. Yeah. Catch counter 7 definitely didn't see anything on Route 3. So is going into this with like bare minimum catch count really only the necessity here for Dynam? What level is Oddish at? Nine. Nine? Nine for the Sanctu? That is so ridiculously low. I don't think I've ever been not leveled. Oh god, it's not even enough for the one shot. <laughs> oh, Dynam. I hope you get a chancey to bail you out of this experience situation. Give, well, give Dynam a chance, E. Yes. Uh, Ergote, meanwhile, making his way across Route 3, uh, can only get an Ekans here. 
as an optional spawn. That is version exclusive to Eevee. Cannot get Sanshu or Mankey, but also doesn't see an icons. Um, all of those spawns can also appear on Route 4 right after Mount Moon, which can sometimes bail you out uh, if you didn't get high enough level from the Mount Moon catches and fights. But usually you don't want to be in a situation where you have to rely on those things spawning on Route 4. And I'm just picking... Oh, there's oh. the Chansey! I saw the Chansey! He has yep, to go there's... for that now, right? Yeah, bonjour. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely gonna go for the Clefairy first. He wants to get the bugs evolved, and as soon as that is done, probably gonna um, deposit everything. Okay, gets the excellent perfect. Deposit everything and uh, get that Chansey. That would really be helpful for his experience. Yeah, that would solve all the... Doesn't quite get the meta part evolved here, so Ooh. probably has to has to just do one other catch, like a Geodude would probably be a good catch here that gets the meta part evolved. Then you can just deposit the four catches, get the uh, Chansey and the Paris last or something like that. And Fury is back. Fury's back, let's go. Uh, let's take a look at Fury's tracker. Real quick, 11. Right, caught that Rat 2 Ravatar. Already has the B drill evolved. We see it right here. Also you caught an action on Rat 3. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Uh, all right. EVs do their like big Mount Moon menu at the beginning here before the first fight where you teach Headbutt, you deposit everything, uh, and use the lore, the lore that you found on Rat 3. Pika usually delays it for two fights uh, and just uses it, uses it right before going down into that basement room where Dynam is right now. And yeah, like I said, going for the Dude next and then gonna deposit, gonna go for that Chansey, I hope, since he's again in a pretty precarious spot in terms of experience. Yeah, he def oh, he marked it as planned already, so uh, he was gonna <laughs> go for Chansey. <laughs> I mean, D Dynam knows that if he doesn't go for it, he loses the crowd, and... Yeah. I mean, then, uh, yeah, w w what are you doing it for? Absolutely. Ooh, glowing cl uh, Clefairy for Ergote. That's very nice for experience. Uh, Fury turning around for a glowing Geodude. Lure's already up, so uh, you can do that. Problem with, oof, Ergo not getting the first throw here, kind of unfortunate, will uh, lose a little bit of experience because catching something on the first throw gives you an experience multiplier. Okay, regular glowing for Furies, G-Dude, and the Clefairy was supersized, so I guess it was all planned. Ooh, actually gonna go for the Paris first and then going for the Chansey for Dynam. I think that is the correct choice. Yeah, they post everything. Then get the Chansey, and you can keep the Chansey for a bit. It will learn a move. Um, almost yeah. everything that you can catch in this uh, in this room will w learn a move when you level up. We'll see it on the Clefairy here now. Yeah. Only exceptions are Clefable and uh, Onyx. Yeah. They don't learn a move at 12. All right, but uh, oh, <laughs> immediately glowing Paris for Fury. He's getting everything up there. Will he All even right, go down gonna... the stairs? <laughs> you know what? I think you you could just skip it, but then you'd have to pick up the PP up to uh, compensate for the nuggets that you lose. Yeah, and the Moonstone is a quick evolution. Sure, sure. Still think this would be a decent opportunity to just skip the basement entirely. All right, here we go. Excellent. Let's see. Yeah, this was glowing. Er yeah, double moonstone for Ergo. And breakout, Ooh. okay. As long as it gets in in the second, I still think it's worth it. Going for yeah. another. Also, it might not be bad to get it like second ball. Probably not. <laughs> All right, come on, stay in, stay in. Yay. Yes, okay, let's see what we get here. 
I didn't even see it. Okay, 1500. 15, yeah. That's uh, regular glowing uh, with that first ball. So. Only. Yeah, but that's still amazing experience. Picture level 17. Oh, hello. Oh, another chance. Hello. Uh, I don't know if I was even going to go for that. I didn't see what experience he was at. Let's see what the EV is here for this fight. Fury, me, my god. He's for... level 15 already. Yeah, he could consider skipping it. If he doesn't want to run to the breakout like Dynam did. Actually, even hitting 16. Yeah, I think just skip it at this point. <laughs> Dynam getting another chancy. Yeah, okay. Agate is skipping the chancy. <laughs> so uh, the response. Oh, didn't even catch the Geodude yet. Okay. Yeah, I sk skipping Chansey, catching Geodudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct choice, I, I think. Not necessary to go for the Chansey. And a PB attempt. Oh, no, Dynam. Walking right into another Geodude. And a PB attempt, can, I would have yeah. also skipped that Chansey. Means you can get the Chansey later on. Definitely, yeah. You can still get it on Route 6. Uh... Route 5? When you go back up, then you walk down again? <laughs> Yeah, that, that would definitely be worth it. Especially at this level, in this tournament, you only have to win. Alright. We're going now doing an extra deposit to get rid of the Geodude in the Paris. And I'm still just on 13 catches, even with the extra chancy catch. But it's definitely set now in terms of experience. Third one heard off screen. What is going on for Dynam? <laughs> like, catch chains usually. Usually in this game, there's a thing called catch chains where if you catch something repeatedly, that same Pokemon is going to be more likely to spawn. But that does not apply to rare spawns. Like, the catch chain will sh still uh, oh. show up. But catching one Chansey does not increase the chance of Chanseys to spawn, as far as uh, we know. I think they do, but only at like 11 cards. Yeah, at, then at the, 11 cards, yeah. Because then the chance for a rare, like a special spawn spawning increases. Yeah, it increases to 50%. <laughs> so uh, if you go to 50%, then... Uh, uh, if you go to 11 catches, oh. it's the same thing. Clefable skip for Fury, already apologizing before we could even see it in chat. Uh, <laughs> don't know what his level is, but also understandable. If you're in a good spot already and he has 16 catches, or, you know. Uh, yeah, that probably needs the XP. Yeah, 15. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and if you like level 14 at this point, you probably go for the Clefable. Like, even if you're gonna hit it through fight experience, uh, you're still gonna be more comfortable at a slightly higher level, but... It is a pretty difficult catch, and I think it's also unlord for Eevee, since the lore runs out a bit earlier. Um, the Dynam in spawning the Onyx. Dynam's just getting to... all of... Yeah. It's very, it's very easy to catch, using the Griff patented Jump shots. Catch throw. <laughs> yes. I'm planning to get the trademark any day now. Alright. Dynamo and Justin James won. Uh, this is a little tricky for Pika if you have low experience. You don't really have a chance of getting a two turn, but with level 17 Pika, that's going to be no problem at all. Yeah, coughing just goes down. Usually, like if you're level 15 on the Pika and you're not plus special attack, uh, both Coughing and Ekans will survive on Thundershock. And then you have, you have to rely on Oddish to knock them out with Acid, which doesn't always happen. Like the combination of Pikachu Thundershock and Oddish um, Acid is sometimes not enough to knock out the Ekans. Yeah, and the same for Eevee, which we'll see in just a bit. Um. 
it's like uh depending on your attack if you go for the the coughing first you don't often one hit the coughing uh, but if you headbutt it it has a chance to flinch and that's is actually really good um and if you're lower you go for the the icons first so at least you kill something hmm. All right, Danim picks up the PP up, which indicates to me that he'll go for the fossil strats, where you do not sell the fossil in Vermilion City, instead selling the PP up. So you keep the fossil as a potential backup catch uh, that you can cash in in Cinnabar later in the run. Uh, it's nice for two reasons. One, you get that potential extra catch that is only a little bit slow. <laughs> and you also get a little bit more money out of it because the PP app actually sells for more money than the fossil. So you can buy some extra items, you know, maybe a super potion extra or a lower extra. Uh, that's really useful. Yeah, in my uh, in my routes, uh, I always pick up the PP app in my notes and I've never yet had to uh, revive the fossil. Um, but still, it's you, just... You usually uh, don't need to, but there is going to come it, a point. Exactly. You know, that one time you are short and you're like, oh, I'm on a really good run. I just had like two things spawn. Uh, like I, I had two things that need to spawn and nothing spawned. I, I'm, I'm going to go for the fossil. Yeah. Then I'm now in Misty's gym, just uh, took a short detour to the Pokemon Center uh, where he learned uh, a special move from a move tutor. A special move for Pikachu is called Zippy Zap, 50 power physical electric type move that always crits and has a priority of plus two. So it's always going to outspeed um, the enemy basically with very few exceptions. These exceptions being Fake Out and Protect. Yeah, and meanwhile, meanwhile Eevee uh, gets yeah. free moves, Sli slightly better, uh, better coverage at least, because instead of... We also get an electric move, uh, but also a water move and a fire move. Uh, the water and the electric move are special. Uh, they do have 90 damage, um, which is really high at this point in the game. Yeah. Uh, like, absurdly high. Um, like things like, like what flamethrower and ice beam are 90 damage so yeah uh so yeah and and they all have a also just like the pikachu where the pikachu outspeeds and always crits um these ones also have a an, an, an extra effect uh the electric move will always paralyze uh the water move will heal 50 percent of the damage you deal and the fire move will always burn and we will see all of those being used um, which, well, most of the time you're happy to be able to get some of those effects. Sometimes they can be a bit annoying. Um, in this game, um, there's something called status lag, uh, where sometimes the turn can just take like two seconds longer because of some sort of animation or something when a Pokemon has a status uh, condition. Um, so that's something where you have to like is something going to kill or not like some ranges can be a bit like okay am i going to go for buzzy bus and maybe not kill and then i might get not just an extra turn but also status lag that's a bit of a decision uh, you have to make Yeah, but in general, these moves for EV provide great coverage, great utility. Just overall very useful, even though it takes a bit to teach all three of them. It's very much worth it. Meanwhile, Pikas <laughs> yeah, are just going to zip Yeah, Pikachu those moves. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Pika doesn't get any other special moves, it's just that they aren't as useful and they only you only get them at a later point uh, where it's not worth it to pick them up anymore. Yeah, and you can see like the time learning a move. Uh, Dynam just spent like two turns headbutting an Oddish uh, that Ergote yeah. won't have to do. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to take a just sizzly slide for the one shot since it's a super effective, very high power move. Yeah, and so those kind of things will, like, yes, you have to spend some turn learning extra moves, but in that way you will get back uh, some time. And especially things like, uh, there there are a few, like, the Ordish can be just annoying, you can get poisoned. Mm -hmm. Not something you want. Yeah, Pikachu, in theory, can get poisoned four times in very rapid succession. Uh, once on Jesse and James and uh, Mud Moon, then you can, where you can just get hit by uh, coughing smog and get poisoned by that. It has a small chance to poison, I think, like twenty to thirty percent, some something around there. And then uh, the Oddish can also just go for poison powder if you don't flinch it or have some way to one shot it. Uh, on the rival fight that Ergote is just entering now, again, if he doesn't have that problem, it so can just one shot the Oddish. The next problem is the Sand Shrew, which I think is going to be the next trainer fight for Dynam, that yes. has Poison Sting, uh, which can also poison you, of course. Uh, but Dynam's going to do the two controller strat here to avoid that, while you just use Pika's to hunt to heal itself and use the Oddish to one shot the Sand Shrew once again with Absorb. And then you can also get poisoned by the coughing at the end of Nugget Bridge. So that's four times you can get poisoned within like 15 minutes. Or like five minutes. Well, yeah, the one, yeah. the one, yeah, the one in Mount Moon is a little bit farther uh, back, so that's why it's like 10, 15 minutes uh, of each other. Yeah, it's more 10. Anyway, <laughs> I'm very aware of this. That's because what's important. I, <laughs> I once, on my very, very first practice race that I did with a couple of other runners for this tournament, I ran out of antidotes by the end of Nugget Bridge. <laughs> Because I got poisoned so much. That's not supposed to happen, but it can sometimes. Uh, and there's really not much you can do about it when you're running Pika. <laughs> nope. Yeah, we just saw a fake out outspeed uh, the Zippy Zap here on Dynam's screen. A little annoying, waste a little bit of time, but uh, doesn't really pose any danger to Pikachu. No, the fake out's going to happen anyway, no matter if you outspeed it or not. Yeah. Like I said, it's just that the fake out has an even higher priority than the Zap. Alright. Then I'm approaching the end. One more grunt fight to go. Uh, hits level 19 here, which is very good for this point in the run. 43 attacks, so I'm pretty sure you'll have a good range for the coughing one shot. If you are low level, you sometimes have to go for double headbutt for this coughing uh, on the grand fight that Dynam's entering now. But yeah, level 19, 43 attack is guaranteed um, to be a one shot with Zippy Zap, which just is faster and you completely avoid that uh, poison risk. my fury on the central fight Eevee can just use bu bouncy bubble here to heal back to not quite full but it's it's a nice little heal Pika doesn't get that Pika has to heal with potions uh, it's level 18 here as well good experience for fury and then I'm now just finishing up the Kite will get to see some spawns here. Uh, there isn't really much to catch for Pika version. Yeah, nothing spawns for... Oh, well, there's a side act, but that's not really a good catch. Uh, so the there's really only one thing that Pika could consider catching here, which is Venonat. Uh, ooh, okay. There we go. Picks up the ether. That will be important much later in the run, but um, really is useful here to, again, set up for the god menu setup. Uh, but yeah, 
Eevee version gets Venonat and also Meowth, which is a version exclusive to Eevee. So sometimes it can be quite useful. Like if you both see Meowth and Venonat in Eevee version, you might want to actually go there and catch them both uh, just to have them. Uh, even though they're unlured. There's also a very, very slim chance for uh, Squirtle to spawn. But because the patch of grass is very small, there are only four things that can spawn at the same time. And it's a 0.5% chance for the Squirtle to show up. It almost never happens. I think we've seen it twice this tournament. Uh, yeah, once, once we were compensating. Yeah, that was our last race together on comms, where Headbots, uh, Headbop saw it on the way back from Bill, where you have no way of actually getting to that patch of grass anymore. Uh, and then also Dynam saw one uh, in one of his earlier races in the tournament. In the same situation, Reds also running back? No, no, no. Uh, no. He was in the patch or next to the patch of grass, but it was so far like it ran in the opposite direction, ah. so it wasn't worth uh, chasing after it. And he did not end up catching it. So no, no Squirtle caught so far this tournament. Anyway, then I'm now encountering Bill, not ditching him. Meanwhile, anyway, Fury will get to take a look at 25. Just Pidgey. Yeah, nothing to get. Also, just pulling off the trainer skip here. No problem at all. First time in the run where our runners are abusing the very short and narrow lines of sight in this game. Uh, like the way these two trainers are positioned, you'd think that they take up the entirety of uh, the path there, but it's really only like a little uh, above halfway across that they can see. And their line of sight is also very narrow, so you can just kind of snake your way through it in this situation and, and not hit either of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think their line of sight is, what, 25 pixels or something like that? Yeah, it's really surprisingly short. And that's just the first of four uh, of these skips. Also, I see Dynam posting uh, their uh, their AVs in chat. One HP, one attack, three defense, two special attack, zero special defense, and three speed. That is not the best AV spread. Uh, so speed AVs for Pikachu are entirely wasted. So that's three right down the drain. Uh, and then just one in attack is a little disappointing. That's not going to be great for some of these ranges. Like it's a good thing that Dynam has very good experience. So, uh, okay, I guess we're just cycling out runners here. Ergo takes back, Fury is out. Uh, <laughs> also, just leaving Bill here. And Dynam is going to be approaching a very, very important catching section for him, which is going to be Route 6. Uh, Route 6 is much more important for Pika compared to Eevee, because Pika is going to try to catch uh, the first partner Pokemon. Pika, because it doesn't get the amazing coverage that Eevee gets the, uh, in the terms first? of moves. Or well, the second after Oddish, yeah, but since Eevee also at least uses the bus for a bit. Ooh, then I'm actually going back for the Nana Berry pickup here. Uh, but the next important partner Pokemon uh, that Eevee won't get, Eevee will basically solo the rest of its, uh, of its stint here on the team. Uh, but yeah, Pikachu wants to catch either a Growlithe or an Abra and some other stuff to get the Abra evolved on uh, Route 6. Abra is the better thing uh, for the fights, since Kadabra just has beastly offensive stats, or at least the special attack that you really need. Uh, but Growlithe comes equipped with Flamethrower <laughs> Flamethrower at level 17, so that's also good. Plus you can ride on Arcanine later, which is also very useful. So ideally you just want to get the Growlithe, and if you see an Abra, that's nice. But it has, I think, like a 10% chance to spawn, or even less, maybe even 5. So it's not the most common 
to see one. Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, for Evie's side, Evie would love okay, to see. The puppy. Would love to see Abra because it's just like possibly the best non-planned catch in the game. It's like not 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 very hard to catch. Uh, evolves quickly. It learns to moves, but it doesn't have to teach over anything. So yeah, it's just really it's, nice. It's a great catch to have uh, either way. Like. If Dynam caught a dust here, he probably wouldn't be able to use it in battle, but it would still be a nice catch for them. So, um, just all in all, a great spawn to get. Went for the double great ball catch. Probably forgot that uh, still uh, that he still had that equipped from the Chansey catch like 15 minutes ago. But ooh, there we go, Jigglypuff, another catch that you can go for on Route Six. That is true for both versions. Um, Jigglypuff actually a little better to get for Eevee version since, um, well, Jigglypuff is the best thing to evolve with a Moonstone because it's the only one of the four Pokemon that evolves by Moonstone uh, that doesn't want to learn anything on evolution. But Pika version uses the Moonstone for one of the Nidos to use as a partner Pokemon later. So can really only evolve the Jigglypuff uh, if you get... Ooh, that's an Abra, Aww. but oh, teleports away. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, okay. Abra is unique in this game where you have to approach it from behind. Otherwise, it will teleport away. Yeah, really sad. Ooh, what? And that Ergote. Was, that, that was a very interesting skip from Ergote. That's the second trainer skip of the run. You're supposed to go right down the center between those two. But Ergote, that looked so far to the left to me. I don't know. Still makes it work, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and also, like, not catching anything there. Not anything? No, not anything. No. Interesting. Not, nothing good for him spawns. Well, I guess. Well, he could have gotten, like, a Psyduck, but better to catch one later. Because I then don't he can know. evolve it. He yeah. has enough EXP, like, EXP wise, he's good. I haven't seen his EXP since he was absent, basically, uh, between Nugget Bridge, or the end of Nugget Bridge, and... Uh, I, I'm expecting at least level 18. Yeah. yeah, since he's plus speed, doesn't have to worry about EXP necessarily, like, he should be able to outspeed Ravel's Pidgeotto, but uh, usually, usually you do want to make sure that you're, like, level 19, maybe even level 20 for this. Fury also, okay, also gets the skip. I guess I'm just... Maybe you're too far to the right every time. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> you should uh, change your entire lineup for that, uh, for tomorrow. Yeah. What can go wrong? Honestly, not much. <laughs> All right, well, since Dynam wasn't able to uh, catch the Abra, um, the Growlithe will probably not hit level 18 for the Radicate fight. Just the regular Jigglypuff does not get you there uh, in terms of experience. So um, that's a little risky for Dynam because Flamethrower out of Growlithe can actually be arranged on both of the oh, on both the Gloom and the Sandshrew on Route 9. Uh, we'll see when we get there, but uh, yeah, if you hit level 18, those ranges are much more favorable. They basically only exist for minor special attack Growlithe. And everything else is fine. So you usually okay, want to hit that you, level 18. Can you explain that as an EV runner? Rangers on the sensor and the gloom? Yeah, I, so... Uh, does, does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, EV just does these fights with uh, one controller. Because, you know, you can just, I don't know, double kick the EV, since you slide the gloom and stuff like that. But uh, Pikachu has a hard time specifically with ground and grass types in this game. So uh, that's why we have to use a partner Pokemon for this rival fight that uh, Dynam is on right now. And the two trainer fights are round nine uh, following this fight. The first one has a an Eevee and a Gloom now. 
Uh, if you use Growlithe, you're gonna you're gonna use the flamethrower on the gloom since it's super effective. But Ooh. if you're level 17, that can be a range, meaning that most of the, or some of the damage rolls that can potentially happen uh, are not going to be enough to take out the gloom in one shot. So you usually want to get the Growlithe to level 18, which can happen either if you catch like a glowing anything really on that six, or if you catch more than one thing after you caught the Growlithe. Like if Danim had caught the Abra there, then that would have been fine. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure what's 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 happening on Ergote's side. Maybe he forgot to like miss X detect or something, but the Pikachu survived. Oh. And what? then the rival healed and Oh no, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. So he lost quite a bit of time on that fight. I'm not familiar enough with the yeah, calculations Nami, for the EV fights, yeah. Even at level 18, I think you should normally be fine. Yeah, that's what I thought, but apparently that's not always true. I mean, that's something you find out, right? If you start running this game and you have notes and there's like, uh, oh, this is just like, just do this, it's like... And then you find out, oh, apparently it is a range. I like, mean, I, found out, I found out that for EV double edge on the Clefairy uh, is a range, apparently. Yeah. I found out that uh, the Persian... Oh, another Vermilion Skip for Dynam pulls it off, no problem. I found out that the Persian on Giovanni 1 can be ranged if you're only level 27 for Pikachu. <laughs> Which Ooh. you shouldn't be. You should never be level 27 for that fight. It's super low. But yeah. that that's what happened on my current Pika PB, so... Uh, and yeah, Persian lived on 1. I mean, it saves a lot of useless level up so you apparently don't need on on pikachu right so um that's where you your time of, save is you kind of do want to be like level 30 for uh with her jason james fight makes it a lot more consistent anyway ergote also pulling off the vermilion skip a second time just gonna go through the underground now uh Dynam is a catch behind Argote. Uh, so they are basically still neck and neck here. Uh, and then Fury is a catch ahead of Argote and just now leaving Azazan also very close to the other two. Yeah, now some now we're getting to the part that I would say most runners, if not everyone, says it's like the most deciding part of any race yeah uh, or like any run basically the route 10 and rock tunnel and that's another chance you put fury doesn't go for it fury doesn't have does, one yet but does go for the jigglypuff going for the small sorry again for fury oh well <laughs> but yeah uh, route 10 and rock tunnel um there are a lot of catches here, a lot of important catches, a lot mm -hmm. of EXP. Um, okay. And runs like you can like save or lose so much time, even though it looks like, oh yeah, I only had to like wait a bit longer, but like yeah, you can this... win or lose minutes in this split. Definitely, this is where. PP attempts go to die. What is Fury doing right now? Oh, picking up a guard's back. Okay. Interesting strat. Didn't even know that was there, to be honest. Nope. Uh, anyway, just wanted, to po just wanted to point out that Dynam's Growlithe was able to one-shot the Gloom, so either hit the range or has really good special attack. So let's hope that that Growlithe can also do it on the center. I didn't see if it hit level 18 off of the Gloom experience. Uh, let's see here. No, it did not. Mm -hmm. So we'll hit it off of the Sentry, but uh, the Sentry is the problem. So 
Oh, what? Ooh. Out's bad? Uh -oh. oh no. Oh no. That's a uh -oh. slow Growlithe. That can also happen. I forgot about that. And now we can also see what, what Eevee does. It expands yeah. the bottle. It heals itself to full. And... Completely different fight. Yeah, that must have been a minus speed uh, Growlithe or something. But yeah, that can happen. Luckily, Ardish is back up. <laughs> All right. So, that'll basically put Ergo in the lead for now. This little mishap for Dynam. Yeah, they yeah. both had, like, back bad fights. Yeah, but Ergo now going on to Route 10. Uh... You're looking for four things here. The two Nidos, like this one. Uh, the Radata or Radicate if you already caught the Radata. And yeah, then... Yeah, you already have Radata, Radata, so... Spiro, I said four, but it's actually five. And uh, the Krabby, if you see it. And Chansey. <laughs> Chansey can also spawn here, but this is where the usefulness of Chansey starts to fall off when compared to how hard it is to catch. Got 10 chance you usually not the play, just go for Radicate or like an Evolve Nido or something if you really need experience. Okay, get the Spiro and nothing else. Spiro, Spiro, Firo, Firo. A lot of burps for Dynam. Really unfortunate yeah, about 10. A flock just flew in. So, yeah. It's a family of birds. The parents and their kids. Right. And, and this is why this route can be so deciding because you want, normally at least like, Two of the things. Yeah, and especially and Kika really needs one of the Nidos to spawn. Yeah. Um, but it's often you can get like all four and other times it's like, okay, only like now, like for Dynam. Okay, only the things spawn that really don't help me. And just the Radata that spawns on its place. That Dynam doesn't have a Radata yet, so you can at least catch this to maybe open up the spawn slot again. But... Uh, getting uh, a lot of I, EXP from that Radicate. I stand and waiting for the attack. Okay, just <laughs> got sick of it at that moment. Radicate doesn't give a lot of experience, uh, so may have been a better idea just YOLO throwing. Dynam's Nidoran experience level 27. Is... What? D did you know that Nidoran Mill learns Horn Drill at 27? I did, because it happened in, I think, my first tournament race where I got a super-sized Radicate on Route 10. Well, that happened to Ergo right now, oh. so... Well, uh, okay, I, I feel that. <laughs> Both uh, early grass uh, Pokemon evolving at the same time here for Ergo Tay and Dynam. Yeah. This does mean probably that the, uh, the bell sprout over leveled quite a bit, though, uh, I assume. Okay, need a Rina. Yeah, just going for the repel and luring again. I was able to buy two repels, usually you only, you only have one. Okay, Krabby is good, Nidoran female is good, and yeah. the Nidoran male. Okay, so get everything on the second attempt here, but really would have liked to see them on the first. So, um,. If you have the choice between the Nidorans, you are going to go for Nidoran Male, since it has a higher base attack, and it also learns Poison Jab, which is the same type attack bonus powered poison type move, where uh, Nidoran Female only learns Crunch, which is a dark type, so it doesn't get the same type attack bonus, but it's still a very good move, and it saves you one turn at one point, but it also costs you a couple of turns. Uh, in other spots, so in general, need to remain this a little bit better. Urgote also going for the repel lure strats. Yeah. A lot of also got a Krabby. A pre pretty slow pattern here from the Krabby. Ooh, Ooh. this is an awkward yeah, this, spot to throw. This is the worst spot. Okay, hits the great here. I think that should stay in, but that's. Four great balls down the drain. May want to consider picking up the extras outside of Rock Tunnel. Yeah, I would. You didn't, pick the ones, you didn't pick the ones up outside of my moon, so. Yeah, yeah. 
We're dying and dead. Yeah, a lot of birds on Red 10 today for both Dynam and Fury. So, uh, okay, Ergo also going for Nidorina here to round out uh, his uh, Red 10 catches, but that's going to be even more experience on everything that's in his party already. I don't know if he deposited in the meantime. I did not pay he, he attention. Did. Okay, that's good then. But, like, this Eevee is going to be, like, level 30 by the end of Octana. <laughs> Let's see where it's at after this. 26, 26 now, okay. already. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I, I have, like, it's like, and there's still a lot more catches in Rock Tunnel to go. Yeah. All right, then, then meanwhile, getting Radicate Evo and a new Dorino Evo here. Uh, so a minute of breathing time for, uh, for them, where Ergote is now going into the grunt fight here, after this cutscene with uh, Lorelei. Catch count wise, yeah, Dynam and Fury are a little bit better off in terms of catches than Ergo, but I think they're all pretty good in terms of experience. Like. Or go with a with a glowing supersized uh, Radicate and the Nidorina and definitely can't complain about level twenty six level twenty six EV and then Dynam also got everything uh, that they needed and I didn't look at Fury's experience yet but could also be fine I think. I mean, uh, getting all the catches it should be fine. Yeah. Considering I... they skipped uh, the Chansey on Route 6. <laughs> yeah, and you can see, like, before this Route 10, um, Dynam had, like, Ergote had two more catches than Dynam. And then one more catch, or I think one more catch, and then now Dynam has two more catches than Ergote. You can go so quickly with how, like, how things spawn. I'm actually taking a step back here, trying to see if anything else spawns. There's a yeah, need of male, need of female. Okay, going for the need of female, but that's... Ooh, runs into another need of female that I didn't even see. Guess that works out for him. Yeah, he was looking for a Spiro. But also the need of female. So... Yeah, but already has the, the need arena, so... Yeah, true, true. This is still not bad to get for the catch count, uh, but probably not worth waiting around for in, in, in retrospect. So if the Spiro doesn't spawn now, probably wasted a little bit of time coming back after the fight. Nope, yeah. that wasn't a Spiro, so ran into Firo. <laughs> that was definitely an accident. Question is, will he go for it? No, no he does not. <laughs> Not a good catch, not a good catch, so I can definitely understand skipping the Firo. And going for the Great Balls. Yeah. Then I'm now done with the lower life fights. We'll not go for the extra Great Balls here, just taking the long way around, which is actually faster than cutting down the bush if you don't go for the Great Balls. And first thing he sees is Graveler. Really good first thing to see. And actually, I like it better as, as like the last thing I see. But yeah, it's good to see rather than not to see it at all. But in general, you want to see Rhyhorn before you see Graveler because a Rhyhorn needs to hit level 25 for Dressing James 2. And um, it really likes that, uh, that, that Graveler experience to get there. So, uh, yeah. Maybe the Rhyhorn spawns after this menu for Dynam can definitely happen. May consider just doing the fight real quick to maybe give the game a little more time to spawn that Rhyhorn, or it just goes for the Graveler and hopes that everything else spawns after the Rhyhorn. It just goes for the Graveler, probably the smarter choice. Rhyhorn is a very important catch here uh, in Rock Tunnel. Because it gives a good amount of experience and it also is 
a right Pokemon that increases your movement speed, the first one that you can get in the game. Uh, so you really want to get it, because increased movement speed uh, saves a surprising amount of time in this game. So uh, I'm not getting my horn really slow, especially for Eevee version, because Eevee version doesn't have a simple and easy backup where Pika can go for an early Arcanine evolution uh, and then ride on that. So it is still slower than just going with Rhyhorn and evolving the Growlithe late. But yeah, all three of our runners are going to be looking out for that Rhyhorn. Uh, and yeah, Pika also uses it for one fight as an active Pokemon, potentially for more than one, but usually just for the one. Uh, and you kind of need it to be level 25 for that. That is what I was alluding to. Yeah, for people uh, in chat, we, we are seeing the same things that you were or, or not seeing. Um. Yeah, Fury and Ergate do seem to have a little bit of connection issues here. Uh, sorry about that. There isn't much that we can do, uh, but Tech is definitely on it. So, ooh, that was, was that? Yeah, that's, I think, what? No, it's just glowing. Hmm? It's just a glowing. Yeah, it wasn't. Traveler. I had a um, shiny Jigglypuff the other day that was basically, you couldn't tell it apart from a regular Jigglypuff, just has green eyes. Uh, and the glowing effect was very yeah, the, subtle. The glow of the stars is like, can be really close. Yeah. Apparently, Ergo take out Rhyhorn. Uh, <laughs> if his tracker is to be believed. But yeah, uh, Dynam already has a Graveler, so... Oh well. Can't go for the glowing one, even though it would be really good for experience. Still looking for that Rhyhorn, gets a Machop, which is another one of those catches that you want to see in Rock Tunnel. Yeah, and like, yep, Machop and Cubone. Um, and those are like basically the two reasons that I would want uh, the Graveler later because you need four levels to evolve them. And I mean, they will get there yeah. eventually, but I believe especially for Pikachu, it can be very, party space can be tight. It definitely can, we're seeing this right now, though uh, Dynam still has the opportunity to get the Nidorina out of the party and the Graveler, I suppose. Uh, but if you catch Krabby, Machop and Cubone, all of those take four levels to evolve and they have to be in the party the entire time. That's the Raihorn, perfect. Uh, so, yeah, you need to be you need to be really mindful of your party situation. Uh, like, if you go for the Zubat in here, you kind of want to catch it first thing if you can, so it can evolve and clear the party, um, free up some space for those three four level evolutions. Um, so this Raihorn catch is a good step in that direction for Dynam. Let's see if that's enough to evolve the Zubat. No, not quite. So. Uh, we'll probably still menu here, get the Raihorn and get the Machop in, but if he catches Cuba now, that will not have space in the party. So we're now two for three uh, in terms of Raihorn's caught. Fury's still looking for it. The sooner you get it in Rock Tunnel, the better. Oh, there's the Raihorn uh, for Fury. Fury has it, yeah. Like, Fury yeah. has it marked, so... Yeah, the tracker is a little bit ahead for us because uh, we also have a delay on the restream view uh, for the feats here. But the tracker is basically instantaneous. So sometimes, like like the Ergo Raihorn mark, I saw it like 15 seconds before I actually got into the encounter. Well, everybody got it. And I'm level 26 on Pika now as well, which is good. You kind of want to hit level... Yeah, you want to hit... Definitely want to hit 28 for... Uh, ooh, glowing Cubone is perfect for Dynam. Because that may be enough to evolve the Zubat if he goes for an excellent here. Doesn't. Okay, well, I mean, probably try to, but... 
this may already be too little now. Let's see how much experience Denim gets. That's enough, perfect. So on uh, their next opportunity, Denim will be able to withdraw the Q-Bone and uh, place it over the gold bats, but uh, probably won't do an extra menu for that. Probably will wait till after the rival fight where you would usually do another menu. Um, Because you usually try to combine menus in this game. Yeah, but that's something you want to do as soon as possible. In general, yeah, you do want to get it done. But the question is, for just one catch, you want just one deposit. It's probably not worth to do an entire menu. So unless there's something else that Dynam. Do you need to heal? No, you usually don't. You can hear in the Ace Trainer fight that is coming up. Uh, or you just heal on the rival fight itself. So, like I said, the usually the next... Um, the next opportunity, next good opportunity to deposit would be on the menu after rival where you use an escape rob. And also if you have Nidder King, uh, you swap that into first slot. In that menu, so we'll probably wait for that. Uh, for Adam, uh, okay, guess we're just down to one feet for now. Yeah, not furious saying folks are hiding in chat, but not just folks are hiding, he is also hiding. <laughs> that's all right, makes I it mean... a little easier for us to keep track of everything. If that's only one feet to commentate. Yeah, apparently some tech issues. Jordan is working on it. Maybe we as commentators should always uh, also go in hiding. <laughs> no, we can't leave Dynam hanging here. All right. Okay, okay for Dynam then. <laughs> and this is the Ace Trainer fight that I mentioned where you can, uh, it's not strictly necessary, but uh, what you can do here is use an X attack uh, on turn one, on, on Nido's turn. Uh, and then Pika will be able to zippy zap both Pokemon and Nido King can use the second turn to heal, but instead uh, Dynam just goes for a helping hand here, uh, which means that um, you'll have to use Helping hand in turn two as well to ensure the knockout on Kadabra. So this also means that he'll probably um, opt to heal on the rival fight. Well, you have a free turn to do it anyway. And this way you save an X item. I think Dynam, yeah, 32 is decent, decent catch count here. I don't think there's anything that he'll have to catch left. Could still get a rare Charmander, but doesn't even have enough space in the party to evolve it. Uh, that's a long black screen. I am worried. Yeah, you have to switch. Uh... Oh, wait. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, we, we can still watch, us two. <laughs> do you, do you... I think, well, yeah, the entire stream froze. Okay, I see. Joker had to uh, restart uh, the UK server. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, we're, we're and... back now. Yep. Oh, we are also getting screen shared now. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh... Okay, now all of them have spliced, so it's fair again. All right, all right. The Dynam's back. The stream is back. We're still here. Oof, that Rhyhorn just blocking the path for Dynam. Ah, don't want to see it. 117 exit on 32. Decent. 
definitely a good pace here for Dynam. Yeah, this is like... This is the pace you want to be on, but then yeah. there's still so much more in this game that can lose you time. Absolutely. We'll now be going to the next Ravel Fight, Ravel 4 in Pokemon Tower. Uh, that's really not much that can go wrong for Pika here. Eevee, if you're super low leveled, can get out sped by Pidgeotto. Uh, but I don't think anyone is that low level. I mean, we don't know what Furious is doing right now, but uh, Ergotase Eevee was already level 26 going into Rock Tunnel, and you need level 25 on neutral speed to be at least speed tight, I think. Takes out the Pidgeotto here. Quick and easy. This is also the first fight where Nidoking actually gets to fight for itself. Like it doesn't just use items and helping hand, it actually uses Poison Jab to take out the last two months here, the Gloom and the Jolteon. Um, and this is where Pikachu can heal. Since Pikachu is a red health here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 6 HP. I'm pretty sure that Jolteon will go for a quick attack for the kill on Pikachu. Um, but Pikachu wouldn't have been full health after a super potion anyway. Yeah, that's the quick attack, like I said. Jotun goes down. And I assume this is where Danum will withdraw the Cubone. So it has Marowak marked still, so that I think that's his plan. You can just go through the box, uh, swap the Nidoking. King. To slot one in the box and then also withdraw the Q bone over the girl bat. Yeah, first withdraw and then go into then swap. Yeah, yeah. True, that is the fastest way to do it. I am getting curious where the two EV runners are. There's really no way to tell, sadly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, either they'll be back or they won't be. In case they won't be back at all till the race is done, uh, they are local recording, so we will get to see their times both in race time and on the local recording later. Uh, we'll keep you up to date if anyone DNFs uh, while their feet is down, but apparently both Ergo and Fury are live. So I guess we'll see if and when their feet come back up for us. Dynam is coming up on the Clefairy fight. Uh, this is a little annoying for Eevee if you don't go for Nidoking King strats on Eevee because, uh, well, this Clefairy knows metronome. And if you had, have no way of one-shotting this, which Eevee only has with decent attack and um, double edge at level 28, or using the Nidoking King strats, and Pika almost always has in the form of Nidoking King here. Uh, yeah, you, you're just gonna get hit with a random move. And that random move can be anything uh, between like splash, explosion, sleep powder, you know. Minimize. Minimize, sand attack, of course. Uh, all of those potentially very annoying things. Uh, then I'm just picking up a Firestone here. This is another route where Abra can potentially spawn, doesn't get it here. Uh, can also still spawn on the other side of the underground that uh, they are about to enter. Uh, but if it doesn't spawn there, then that's going to be no Abra for Dynam. 
There's really nothing else. Yeah. You don't go for anything else here. I don't know what uh, Denim's Rhyhorn is at in terms of experience. If it's gonna hit level 25 or not, I think the only thing that Denim caught after... The Machop and the Q-Bone. And I, I guess Zubat. I think Machop was before that. I did catch the Q-Bone after for sure. But I don't think that alone, uh, in combination with fight experience, is not quite enough to get the Rhyhorn to 25 in time. So another catch would probably have been good. Just gonna do the synchronize here where you pay 10k to lock in the nature for every Pokemon that you catch for the rest of the day on your Switch system. We choose Modest here, which is gonna be very important for the Starmie that we use as our late game main, of course. Uh, don't forget to do this in your runs. <laughs> you don't want to end up with, say, a quiet uh, Starmie that gets outsped by basically everything. Yeah, you don't want to check it out and then fly back and to set modest and then fly back to catch another star. Yeah, that's really slow. But now we'll never know if the two Eevee runners were remembering to set modest. I expect Ooh. so they they have to go get into that center anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in that Pokemon Center there's another move tutor. Um, to, to teach you about some moves um, and where I didn't even know what does Pikachu get here? Like the fly move or? I think it gets a flying type and a water type move here for surfing Pikachu and uh, flying Pikachu to like popular images uh, of older Pokemon games. Yeah, mostly the trading card game. And I think flying Pikachu is also in the Pokemon Yellow like opening titles. Mm -hmm. Which this game is a remake of Pokemon Yellow, so it makes sense that an homage to it is included in the game. Just kind of sucks that Pika only gets that one move uh, early on, though I guess a flying type move wouldn't have been very useful anyway, well, for, maybe like, for that Oddish. <laughs> yeah, the Oddish. <laughs> yeah. And the Gloom. You probably still won't kill Gloom, but the Oddish. Um, I think you may with X Attack. If it's a physical move, I actually don't know what, what type it is, but like X attack, super effective physical, high power, even with that stab, I think could kill the Gloom. But would, I guess we'll you, never know. Yeah, would you teach like a 90 power psychic mo a special move that also light screens? <laughs> I definitely would, would and that uh, is what Eevee does with Glitzy Gloom. It's glow. Glow, right. yeah. I was thinking it's of Gloom the Pokemon, but that's fine. <laughs> ah, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, this Hypnophyte is the one fight where Nidorina has an edge with uh, Crunch, since you almost always get a one turn with just Crunch and Zippy Zap. Um, Poison Jab is usually not quite enough uh, unless you get a uh, very high attack or very high EXP on both of the Rhyhorn, uh, the, sorry, the Nidor King and the Pikachu. All right, just going into this fight now. Uh, did not see Nether King's attack so far for Dynam. If you have decent enough attack or uh, high enough EXP, you can skip an X attack in this fight. 28, yeah. You usually can skip the X attack at 28 unless you have like unless you have like minus attack on the Nether King. So. Uh, this one shots the Rattata, probably doesn't one shot the Voltorb unless you have a very high attack. Doesn't get the one shot here. Also gets hit with Sonic Boom and Swift, so I'll have to will have to heal the Nidor King. For sure, that's way too low to use uh in Jesse and James. Also gets the 25 on Rhyhorn there, which is very good. So uh this Rhyhorn is now much more likely to get one shots on Jesse and James's Arbok and Weezing. Uh, 
Alright. Just to reiterate on stream here, we have had no uh, forfeits so far, uh, Ergo and Fury. Uh, their feats have just been cut because of server issues. We're working on getting them back. Uh, but they are still playing recording locally, so uh, their footage isn't lost. And if they, if one of them gets the fastest time, we'll still be able to tell. All right, well, uh, Darren's about to climb a rolling chair here. Just the things that you do in in a Pokemon game. All right, healing everything back up. Uh, Rhyhorn in first, Nidoking King in second. That is the standard strat that Pika version will use for the Justin James fight. Uh, the reason why it's so good is that Rhyhorn has a move called Drill Run, which I believe is 95 power. No, it's 95 accuracy. Let me just check what the power is on Drill Run real quick before I say anything. That isn't true at all. Um, 80 power. 80 power. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong still. That's a very strong move. And I think it also has a, yeah, it has a high critical hit rate on top of that. So uh, it's a very good move. Rhyhorn gets stab on it. And it's super effective against both Arbok and Weezing. So uh, super good move for this fight. And you can just X attack the Rhyhorn and let it do all of the heavy lifting in this fight. Just have to take care that it doesn't get knocked out. But since it's already also pretty bulky, uh, it usually doesn't unless it gets like crit or hard focused by both Arbok and Weezing. Yeah, and uh, as uh, someone in chat said, this is an educational game. Telling you about the advantages of uh, standing on uh, rolling chairs. How great they are to get to high services. It's uh, he's done. Uh, yeah, just going down to the basement to the lowest basement floor here to do the little bus gauntlet in hideout. These are the first dangerous fights, not necessarily straight up dangerous in terms of dying to it, but these can lose you a lot of time if things go sideways. So, uh, I, I would even say, see... yeah, dying but not wiping. Exactly, yeah. In theory, like Pikachu Actually it's not that it's not that dangerous in Pikachu version. I think it's a little more dangerous in Eevee where Eevee can faint if things go poorly. Uh, but again Rhyhorn and Nether King usually withstand anything that Justin James throw at them. Uh, we see Crunch and the fence drop here, which is potentially scary, but Arbok just dies to one drill run. So it doesn't even matter. And now we're just going to see Drill Run at Helping Hand. No, actually, interesting. Going for another X attack instead. This is the same. Um, just wanna say, uh, uh, want to say two X attacks. Use X. I wanted yeah. to get rid of the X attacks. OK, interesting. But I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I don't know what the strat there is, but using two X attacks is the same as using one X attack and one Helping Hand. So. A could have elected to do either there. We'll now swap the Pikachu back in. Probably won't heal. No, the Nidoking King did take a little bit of damage, but it's not. It's nowhere near enough to be in danger for this next fight. The first Archer fight, which is way less annoying than the second Archer fight, which we will see in like no spoilers yet. <laughs> Forty minutes. Uh, yeah, no spoilers yet. <laughs> but remember this man. Remember. Never forget, as Giovanni would say. Um, yeah, this fight is pretty easy for Pikachu. You just spam Thunderbolt. Can be a little annoying if you're minus special attack. You'll just you have to use uh, Helping Hand uh, for the Golbat. 
And also if you're minus speed and haven't hit level 30 here, uh, Archer's Golbat will actually outspeed Pikachu. It's the only Pokemon in the run that can outspeed Pikachu at minus speed. Uh, where it usually couldn't outspeed the Pikachu if it isn't minus speed. The Jolteon basically always outspeeds, so... Alright, and then level 29 here on both Pokemon. Uh, doesn't really matter. The good, I mean, I guess he's on a good track to hit level 30 if he catches uh, Weezing in Pokemon Tower on top of the Giovanni experience and the Haunter experience. And level 30... Gassy, yeah. Uh, did I say Haunter? Sorry. Yeah. Weezing. You want to catch Gassy. You said Weezing. I said Weezing. I'm just entirely confused. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you hit I was looking at Weezing. It was... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you want to catch a Ghastly. <laughs> Can't catch a Weezing in this game. Can't even catch a Coughing in Pika version. And that's the problem, I guess. Yeah, you can't catch Aggins or Weezing. Yeah, neither of Justin James' Pokemon. Not even mm. Meowth. No. So clearly oh, Team Rocket it? knows what, what games is better. <laughs> but do you really want to align yourself with Team Rocket by choosing yeah. Eevee yes. version? The ruthless gambling conglomerate. Exactly. Well, we'll just let that... We'll just let that stand and speak for... For you, sheep. Uh... <laughs> I speak here on behalf of the entire... Uh... Yep. Sandy in chat asking the important questions. Would modern Team Rocket be a sports gambling site? Um, probably. I'm sure they will also be in crypto. Oh, definitely. That's like, yeah, for Made sure. For them. <laughs> Anyway, finishing up Giovanni one here. Uh, Persian NFTs. <laughs> Oof, let's steer away from that topic real quick. Um, <laughs> so yeah, then I'm going to leave the hideout here. Probably doesn't need to get the extra Ultra Balls. Actually, how many catches does he have planned? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven may opt to pick up the extra ultras. Uh, so there's a stack of five uh, no. ultra balls. No, skip that, okay. There's a stack of five ultra balls in hideout that you can pick up. It's a little bit of a detour, uh, but usually you only get one stack of three in Pokemon Tower. So eight in total on top of the five that you get as a gift from or as a battle prize from the Ace Trainer and Rock Tunnel. Uh, sometimes if you have a lot of catches yet to do, it might be better to just pick up the five and skip the three in Pokemon Tower. All right. Uh, it's going to withdraw a uh, Growlithe here. Get rid of the Rhyhorn and then use the Growlithe as a right. Currently fainted, but um, there is a free heal waiting for Dynam in Pokemon Tower. Uh, so that will revive the Growlithe, so Dynam can use it as a Sacrifice Mon on the next Jesse and James fight. So it will once again be fainted after the Jesse and James fight, which is exactly where we want it to be, because then we can evolve it into Arcanine and use it as a ride. And even though it's level 17, it won't gain any levels on the following catching section. I right. don't see Purist or Puri or Ergote having called a, a Ghastly yet. I'm looking at their trackers. I mean, yeah, that can tell us a little bit about where yeah, they Ergote, are. Ergote did find a Jigglypuff at some point. 
or well, probably like there's only one point really, but yeah, he did catch a jiggly right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing super out of the ordinary for them, like no late Abra catch so far. No, he has a, uh, he has a, he has a kingdom already, Ergo T. That's good, but not not rare to get that by the end of hideout, maybe if you get good experience. Yeah, but that does mean he's like probably close to Dynam still. Yeah, yeah. I would assume so. Oh! Uh, so, ah, there we go. Everything's back. Let's go. Everybody's in tower. <laughs> this Talking is about. Uh... Yeah, that's the healing pad for Dynam, just to free heal on the way. Uh, so, Gralus back at full health. Ooh, waiting for the spinner, almost running into it. That's fine. Uh, that's the ghastly for Dynam. Did Dynam already catch one? No. Didn't catch one yet. So we'll catch that after this fight. Very nice. Um, yeah, I got a little bit pixelated, but that's just the way of things actually getting better now. Uh, as far as I could tell, runners had to switch to uh, the US East Coast server, which of course is a little bit of a rough connection for Ergate, who is in Finland, yes, uh, like Jordan is saying in the chat. So uh, bitrate suffers, but uh, it's better than not having any feed at all. So we definitely like having them back here. Uh, then I'm just going to use a nine up here to keep the Ghastly from moving, hitting a nice with an Ultra Ball. Basically guarantees the catch. Oof, Fury getting a bad pattern from the spinners. No other Ghastly so far. None for Argate, none for Fury. Uh, what I wanted to say is these um, Hotter fights Fury's on one right now. Uh, they like to use Sucker Punch, but... Pikachu has Zippy Zap, which has a higher priority than Sucker Punch, so it uh, doesn't have to worry about it. Eevee version usually always gets that little bit of chip damage on the second Haunter fight that doesn't get affected by the free heal anymore. So you usually never go into Jesse and James uh, 3 with full health in Eevee version. Nope. It can just randomly choose not to use Sucker Punch, which I think has happened to me exactly once while I was running Eevee. Uh, but yeah, Pika just doesn't have to worry about it at all, which is really nice. Especially because you can't just do the Raihorn strat again, since Raihorn would be very underleveled for the next fight. So uh, you really do have to use the Pikachu here. No uh, ghost for Ergote. You just unmarked it. Yeah, a little annoying. That's two catches gone and also... Uh, means that he'll have to keep the Eevee around, which means it'll gain extra levels. Uh, not great, but also definitely not the end of the world. Yeah, hopefully you get like your pony <laughs> test the first spawn, so it doesn't really matter too much. That's such a classic side for Fury, getting the Haunter spawn, but not getting a Ghastly spawn. <laughs> yep. Also just unmarked it now. It's yeah, yeah that's just tough. The, the I, I Ooh, also that's... see that Furious did find. Hmm? Uh, Furious did find uh, Philpix. Ah, so, right, yes. That was another one of the Route 6, uh, since he didn't catch anything there. Well, that was Ergo, I think, that didn't catch anything, right? Oh, yeah, sorry, Ergo. Yeah. I think I think you already have that on, on that. Oh, er Ergo also has the Philpix, I see. Okay. Mm. Well, that's good. Uh, Ergo now down with J&J &J here, and... But Adam, our book is going down. Yeah, now they're... Actually, all of them are on J&J, &J. that's so close. Yeah, you have to say Ergo, Tay, and Dynam eat one catches. Yeah, so after this, Evo, if, if Dynam's basically done now, if he gets the one shot on the Weezing, perfect. I think they're basically tied. Yeah. 
Is that here's the Dexter's registration, then sword stance, and I think yeah. Yeah, Dynam is like five seconds ahead right now. That's this is so close. close. That's nuts. I don't know. How can it be just five seconds apart? That's such a slim margin for a three hour run. I mean, we're just an hour 42 into it, but still, it's so close. And Fury yeah, is and like, also, there's like so yeah. much flexibility in how much, how many catches you have, but they're like on the same number of catches. Yeah. Fury is probably like a minute behind currently, but that can definitely still swing uh, right back. There's still so much uh, variance in the rest of the run. All right. Speaking of variance, then I'm now gonna evolve the Growlithe, like I said, where Agate will just fly straight to straight back to uh, Celadon and keep riding on that Rhyhorn. Talk to Brock. Yeah. Very important. Always want to make sure to do that because you get the T from Brock uh, that allows you to enter uh, Saffron later. I think we had at least one instance during the tournament where this was skipped and someone yeah. had to fly Razor back. Razor Search in the first round race. Yeah. He like hugged the bottom and managed to not uh, to dodge Brock. So don't hug the bottom, kids. Oh, don't do it. I got getting two Radicate spawns on Route 16. Not what you want to see if you already have it. Uh, you can see uh, Doduo here already, which sometimes can be worth to catch if you just want to guarantee that you get it. Doduo and, and yeah, Pidgey also if you haven't seen it yet. Doduo and Ponyta uh, are the the two most important catches on this Route 16, Route 17 uh, section. Because you want to use Dodrio for one fight later, and of course Ponyta into Rapidash is going to be the fastest possible ride Pokemon for everyone here, even faster than Arcanine. So if you see those, you want to catch them, and if you see a Dodo here in Route 16, you sometimes just want to get it uh, to guarantee that you have it, because it could just not show up on Route 17, and then you have to Fire Blast with Rapidash later. <laughs> that just feels bad. So, Ergo now on Route 17, let's see what he gets in terms of spawns. Really wants to see an early pony or dojo. Just so he doesn't have to worry about those. Picks up the super lore. Oh. And there's both of them. Great. And the side act too. Excellent spawns. Excellent spawns for Ergo. Yeah. All he needs is the Pidgey. Or I guess he already uh, has a Pidgey. Yeah. So. It's a Pidgeotto. Which yeah. is what Fury is catching right now on Route 16. The Pidgeotto here is going to be one level away from evolving into Pidgeot. Uh, nice to catch us. A little rough to catch, but usually perfectly reasonable. reasonable. And there's a Dodo for Dynam. Also good catch here. Uh, usually doesn't... Like, Pika can wait a little bit longer for the Pony uh, because Arcanine is pretty fast. You don't lose as much time in terms of uh, movement speed difference uh, as Eevee version does with the Rhyhorn. But if you get it early, you may can you may be able to skip the candy that uh, Ergote is about to use here to evolve the pony to Rapidash immediately. Yeah, and it's also like at this point, um, the EXP doesn't really matter that much. Mm -hmm. uh, you you mostly just want to catch things. Yeah, you want to catch things. You want to get things involved uh, evolved. So, uh, so you might see p p people like not waiting to get an excellence, but like going for a good or already like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, excellence can still be useful to clear your party. Like if you have a lot of things still unevolved, like all of those four level evos from earlier, you may still want to get those excellence like Dynam here. Like entire party is full, so this excellent guaranteed that Gasly and. Um, Crabby evolved there, so then I'll be able to just do another menu, get rid of all of the things that have already evolved and get the Dodo and get the Sadak in. Hasn't gotten Pony yet, which is unfortunate because the Dodo currently isn't getting experience.
Yeah, and with Dodo, you do need a bit of EXP. Yeah. Uh, or you can go time. for the for the candy strats, but yeah, if you're catching Grimer later, that's usually enough to get it evolved. Yeah, or Tentacool. Yeah, if you, really, if you catch anything on top of the star you catch, that's usually enough to get the Dodo evolved by the time that you need it to be evolved. But uh, again, it has to be in the party to get experience. Oh no, then I'm running into another Psyduck. Didn't really have enough time to react here. Three Psyducks on screen at the same time. Kind of funny. Oof, that's a big, that's a big crap. Cookie, cookie. Sure. <laughs> that's what um, uh, Kingler's says. Oh, really? Okay. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> Dynam still looking for the pony. I know that Dynam, I think that Dynam has the pony skip strat down. That's a Rapidash. Yeah, is going to go for the Rapidash. Not the best thing to do. Rapidash is kind of hard to catch. Yeah, this is a risk. But still better than not getting uh, a pony at all. And uh, you can just, yeah, double ultra with the Severas. This should be pretty okay in terms of success rate. Let's hope he gets it. First ball. Come on. Yes, perfect. So, does lose out on the uh, pony catch here, which means that, let's see... He's still on 51 plant. Yeah. So... And probably, like, skip an evo later. Probably can just not withdraw something that he catches, uh, like if he sees a Pidgey still, uh, could just keep that in the in the box and not above it to even out the catch count. Yeah, and Ergote is done with catches here. Just zooming through the, uh, the grass here. Oh yeah, that's the Pidgey that I mentioned, so again, can just catch this and then we'll probably elect to... Oh, actually, yeah, because the Pidgey evolves into, all the way into Pidgeot uh, within two levels. What Dynam is going to do here is he's going to skip the Grimer catch. This does mean that the Dodo will not evolve if it hasn't gotten any experience yet. Oh, it's in the party. Okay, that's good. I kind of missed that. Sorry about that. Yeah, it got a rapid as XP. Yeah, good. So, uh, we're fine on that end. Uh, works out for Dynam. Only has to catch the star, you know, going into the uh, next catching section here. Yeah, Dynam Fury. and Fury Star have like their catches set out. Well, Fury still has to get Tentacle and coughing on the looks of yeah, it. Same, same for Ergote, but Ergote is like 51 planned at the moment, so yeah, it looks like he probably like skips nine tails. Yeah, very likely skipping the fast zone Evo. Which would be the slowest one out of the ones left. Yeah. All right. Ergote just picking up Sea Skim here, so he'll be, he'll be able to surf on the water and catch the star you in just a minute here. Let's see what he gets in terms of star use. Yeah, it might be difficult to read. Yeah. It's a Tentacruel, don't want to go for that. Okay, no star you yet. Just gonna grab the water stone already. You hate to get to this part and then not have a star you spawn, but I'm pretty sure that Argo still has a repel. Actually, I don't know if he, had, if he still has a repel. Oh, that's the star. All the way back. That's inconvenient spawn. Uh, location, but let's see what he gets in terms of CP. Then 86, I think. 
1068. Yeah. Breakout! Oh yeah, I didn't hit the circle. Oh, yeah. That can happen uh, even with a server ass. <laughs> okay, it was a Radata <laughs> on Fury's screen. I, I saw a screen transition while he was <laughs> skipping those trainers and I thought, oh no, is that is that an oh, optional? Oh, uh, sorry you huh? ran away. Oh, what? Oh god, that's so bad for Ergo. I think he's running low on uh, Ultra Balls as well. Yeah. Oh, oh six. no! Plenty, plenty left. Okay, okay, never mind then. That's good. This is also a bad catch. Great with an ultra ball, may still break out. Oh, I got. Okay, good. Gets the catch here. That would have been so bad. <sighs> Can't believe the yeah. style you run away. I don't think I've ever seen that. I I sure have. Yeah. Yeah. I At like, a, at like a nice run where I had, with two catches left, so I had uh, seven breakouts or something like that. Oh no. Another star. This one has 1081, 1061. Hard to tell with the pixels. Okay, gets an accent. Ten, this ten, ten, ten number one. Yeah. Either a six or an eight. Above above average. Oh, then I'm just not getting a spawn. Like still waiting for the star. You. I hate this. Oh god, I hate this. Just yeah, watching spawn, it makes me. The, the spawn like That's area a is magic... here. That's a magic card. You like don't have a. What is going on for Dynamo? Oh, no, I hate this. Does he have a repel left? Oh, there's the spawn. There's the star. You. Oh. I think he just used the one repel that he had to respawn everything 1060. Two, right? Well, looks like both Ergo and Diamond had a little bit of a time on Rat 21, but uh, should be should be done now. So, <laughs> oof. And then, okay, if you're just going for Tentacool. Freezing the feet once more. Yeah. Breakout of you. Really? That's what I can tell from yep. what's happening there. Uh, unfortunate. Meanwhile, Dan, I'm getting the Marowak evolved. Definitely good to have that out of the party. Uh, You're gonna take going for the. Yeah, doing the star menu right here. So let's see where... What's that? The star you has. Great speed, good special attack. This is a yep. perfectly serviceable star you for uh, Ergate. Yep. And now Dynam adding everything into the party. That still needs EXP. This is fine. a fine point to add things. Uh, that's not at the Pidgey? Okay, yes. Did he notice that? Does he need it? No, he... he okay, he... Dynam changed his mind. Doesn't evolve the Pidgey instead. We'll catch the Grimer, according to his tracker. Mm -hmm. Didn't even look at his star use stats now. Bad special attack, unfortunate. Fury getting the star. We probably won't get to see the CP here. We do. Black. Actually, yeah, 1029. Oof. Oof. That's the lowest one. Yeah, I do want to pay attention. To... No more Ultra Balls. Oh no. Fury. Okay. But this is kind of a pivotal moment for the run, so if this catch doesn't go through, it's basically the end. And I once again did not see the stats for Starmie. Okay, gets the catch. 
But she really is struggling right now, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, it still has to catch the, the coughing. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. And on then his I'm tracker, just catching... I think he caught a tentacle already, but it's not on his tracker yet. Yeah. yeah. Alright. He's a bit behind on tracking. Perhaps understandable with all of the technical difficulties that we've been experiencing here. Yeah, and also just like getting that breakout and... Oh, this could be another breakout for Fury. Not hitting the cycle with two great balls. Ah. No, gets That's the catch just... good. I could say just having to second guess whether he has to pick up the Firestone, but doesn't no, there was it. a there was a Rattata there, but we hmm. couldn't see it. Okay, duped by pixels. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so Ergo is still waiting for five Evos. Pidgeotto into Pidgeot, Psyduck uh, into Golduck. Coughing into Weezing, Dodo into Dodrio, and uh, Tentacle into Tentacruel. Then I'm just needing the Golduck and the Muck. Yeah, and for, for Ergote, yeah. Ergote didn't, doesn't have the Psyduck in the party. But that will have to be added at some point. Uh, unless he has like yeah. 51 planned, I actually don't see it. No, he has 50 planned. Yeah, so he didn't have room for it and he put the yeah. uh, coughing in over it because that does need more exp true true could probably still withdraw it after erica nice magma <laughs> uh, yeah I assume it after erica. as soon as he is something like evolved and he's menuing yeah or potentially even after search on that menu like that should still be enough to get the side egg evolved hopefully yeah it, ha it has some exp so it was in the party before oh okay I see. that should be fine Definitely. Well, Ergo on Blaine now. Uh, just to clarify here, Dynam is three catches ahead. Uh, still a mention right now. Uh, has not marked the Starmie yet, so it shows up as 45 instead of 46 catches for Dynam. And also just pick up the key and escape Rob out of here. And be right there on Blaine. Yeah, we would still say Dynam is slightly ahead. Yeah. But has I'd the worst star. And had to go to 46. Where Irgote was fine on 45. Bad star is a little annoying for like race settings because you can't go for some of the easier time saves as reliably because you're gonna have some ranges on hydro pump. Yeah, especially but if it's close or like if you're slightly behind, you can't like. There are a few risky strats that can save you time, but yeah, you do need a bit more special attack than Dynamas. Yeah. I actually still don't know what his special attack is. <laughs> I've missed it on every opportunity because I was looking at other other feats here, but I take everyone's word for it. Mm. All right. Ergo didn't get burnt or anything, that's good. I didn't see if he got confused turn one. Uh, Magmar can or definitely likes to go for Confuse Ray, but can also just randomly choose not to go for it, which saves you a turn of having to heal that confusion. Yeah, since the star yeah, has damage, you don't know, but... Yeah, that's the Confuse Ray for Dynam, so he'll have to use one of the free, uh, one of the full heals. Hasn't gotten... Yeah. Pewter Crunchy, Sorshader, Sables, uh, 
like I said earlier, if you like get burned on Starmie uh, and Misty Gem, or if you get paralyzed by Arbok on uh, either of the Justin James fights, you may have to use one of those sooner or use the burn heal. But uh, then I'm in a good spot in terms of healing items. So it has one of the full heals left and the burn heal, so even if he gets like paralyzed on Archer or something, you can use uh, the second full heal item to get out of that. Okay, so at least at least Dynam Starmy outsped everything here. Didn't get hit by Flablets out yeah, of the Rapid think, Ash. I think that's guaranteed at 46, right? Or... It is not. Uh, no? Us beating the nine tails is guaranteed at 46, but you okay. can still get outsped by Rapid Ash if you have really, really bad speed. Yeah, I definitely, I think I, yeah, I speed tied the Rapid Ash in my uh, last race, I want to say, where I went to 46, so pretty sure you can get outsped by the Rapid Ash. Anyway, Ergo and Dynam are on the same menu. But Dynam is a catch ahead unless Ergo forgot to mark something. I don't think so. So yeah, Dynam a little ahead here. I want to say like 20 seconds maybe, but of course has the worst star. So this is very easy. This could very easily swing back in Ergo's favor. Yeah, there's uh, still a few more fights that can waste you some time. Yeah. Even even using the safest possible strats, you can just like lose time. Definitely, like Phoenix is saying, just some random names that don't have any meaning: Archer, Caden, Caroline. <laughs> In my uh, Naomi potentially. <laughs> In my latest BB, uh, I had Caden uh, hit double protect. Oh yeah, 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 that can happen. <laughs> I had uh, a double protect out of Koga very recently as well. Like, wow, thanks. Thanks for wasting two turns. <laughs> yeah, really annoying. Like, so rare that they even go for it, but... But it usually seems to work, like, I, I mean, obviously... Actually, yeah, I don't Koga, know if you... Koga also tried it, but it failed. Oh, okay. It was like on the setup turn on the on the wheezing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So now we're using we... water attacks uh, to kill this uh, electric gym. Which is absolutely fine if you're, like, twice the level of everything in here. Not quite, but definitely way over Sli leveled. Sli slightly higher leveled. Yes. Fury, meanwhile, finishing up Blaine. Uh, hasn't given up yet, and... For good reason. Well, yeah, I mean, he is definitely behind the other two here, but uh, this could change again. Archer, Caden, Caroline. Can happen. And also, I think... Fury could still be on like a PB pace. I don't know. Uh, I have a really rough time telling pace before. Uh, before yeah, same. But I mean, it's Ogotin. it's not far behind like Ergote and Dynam. And yeah, true. I think Fury just got a like a three or eight PB recently. Ergote removing Dodrio. Really? Yep. Well, he'll have to fire blast now, but I guess it's by choice. Uh, let's hope he doesn't get punished for that. Yeah, just double check on Fury's PB as a 3 or 8. 08, so uh, 
yeah, could could still. Uh... All right, Erica, let's show a cute Pokemon. Oh, just a cute Pokemon, a super cute Pokemon. What Any would you Pokemon say? will do. What would you say is a cute Pokemon? Um, honestly, I think Muck is like super cute. Like a Lola Muck. Oh yeah, it's like so, so cute. cute. Yeah, I would have to say. Uh... I think Kabutops is super cute. Oh yeah, uh, Almanite as well. Actually, wait, what's the what's the evolved form? Almastar. Almastar, yeah, that's the one I was going for. Almanite is actually cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Venomoth is super cute. Hmm. Right. Well, according to Erica, for sure. At least the, at least the trainer, uh, like <laughs> the girl in front of uh, her gym. All right. Well, we're on Erica now. Uh, gonna see this fight instead of spamming squad. We're just gonna spam psychic to basically the same end, uh, and the same effect as spamming squad on search. Uh, yeah, we have the two extra, in, two extra inputs to go down to Psychic, and that's it. Yeah, fun fact, this Tangler also dies to Hydro Pump, which I accidentally misclicked <laughs> on a recent run. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you just want to go for Psychic here. <laughs> I, I would be surprised the Weeping Doll also dies to Hydro Pump. Yeah, I could definitely see it. I don't think the... Uh, yeah, doesn't... No. Probably not. Randall will probably know, but... <laughs> I don't think so. Ogre's gonna get Golduck Evo after the fights. Let's look at the trackers here real quick on my end. So yeah, Ergo still needs Weezing and Tentacruel to evolve after this. Dynam just the Muck Evo. That usually happens after J and J. So it will be on 47 for the next couple of fights here. Furious is adding, uh, adding the, the full picks for the Ninetales evolution. Yeah. And then we'll do that. We'll Evo it on this menu as well. And deposit it right back since it's level 17. It would gain a couple of levels here in the next section of the run before you get the opportunity to menu again. Then I'm just switching the dojo back into the lead. And uh, not using the lead of... into the second slot, excuse me. Yeah, and using one of my favorite strats, flying to the town you're in. Yeah. Oh. Oof, that's a bunch of ground, but yeah. So dodge Porygon on Ergate's screen. <laughs> Why didn't he catch that? I don't know. Yeah. It's marked, it's planned, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a very right... That's a very <laughs> rare spawn. And it's not worth it to go for, since you get a very fast gift Porygon. In just a couple of minutes here, after you uh, cleared the Silco story arc. Yeah, so now we're in the biggest uh, uh, town in the region. Yes. And uh, there's this multinational company, Silvco. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, you enter, and as soon as you enter, there's like the receptionist is like, why are you here? You shouldn't be here. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. And then Blue walks in, Blue is all cool, and she's like, oh, wow, that's Blue. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like, don't, don't, don't worry. Yeah. Blue only has two Pokemon, but one of those Pokemon is the one hard counter to Starmie. Executor. Uh, Starmie does not have a single move that he, uh, hits Executor for at least neutral damage, so we need no. a second Pokemon for this fight. And uh, usually you want that to be Dodrio because Dodrio can hit it with Drill Pack, 
For super effective damage, that's an easy one shot. Drill pack is 100% accurate, so no risk at all. But if you don't use Dodrio, you have to use Rapid Ash, and Rapid Ash has Fire Blast, which is not 100% accurate. <laughs> and if that misses, this fight can be bad. So let's hope that Ergotay hits. And he hits. hits. Very, very, very nice. Doesn't get punished for uh, depositing Dodrio earlier. A good storm, we can just go for Scott in this Charizard and uh, do whatever on the other turn. But both players go for the second X item here. 112 special attack, that's so bad. At 47, that really does feel like zero Ooh. IV for Dynam. Or like two IV or something, that's really low. We hate to see it. Anyway, doesn't matter for the next fight. Uh, it's Archer 2. Everyone's favorite fights. Yes. So this is a true double battle. We're going to be fighting alongside of our rival Trace against Archer and just a random Grunt. Uh, the AI has to move for three Pokemon in this and make decisions for three AI trainers, which slows the battle down to a crawl because there's going to be like 10 seconds of lag each turn. So you really want to get as few turns as possible here. Uh, minimum is three, maximum is anywhere, honestly. Uh, usually it's like three to five turns though. Okay, we're seeing self-destruct. Okay, self-destruct, no protect for Ergo, self-destruct, protect for Dynam. So Ergotay gets the best possible opening here, the only one that allows for the three turn. And Dynam gets the opening that is most sus sus susceptible to a five turn. The Dynam really wants to see Ergo's Cubone go for stuff like Headbutt and uh, Focus Energy here. Yeah, I think it's either one or zero, one or two IVs in Special Tech. That's so bad. Right, let's see what Cubone does. Goes for Bomberang, okay. So if Cubone goes for Bomberang next turn as well, uh, Ergo will get the three turn. Meanwhile, yeah, Dynam gets the five turn. Uh, which is unfortunate. Yeah, and maybe even like six turn if he has to heal. True. Oh, I think this should be fine. I think the star lives another Sucker Punch. And yeah, Argo gets the three turn. Let's go. What did I say right, Phoenix and Chad? Ooh. It survived that one? At one. It survived that one. Let's calculate it. Focus energy. Yeah, you, 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 you promised that it would live and it did. Probably correctly. Thank you, Phoenix. Yes, for some reason, uh, I keep saying energy focus, but apparently I did say it right this time. <laughs> I can tell you why I say energy focus, because the German word for it has the syllables or the, the parts of the words switched it's energy focus in german so that's why i keep mixing it up oh wow. do you also do you also say uh what is it great potion or is it super bowl uh it's super bowl yeah in german yes <laughs> or super ball if you want to actually pronounce it the german way <laughs> uh what is Ergote doing we don't know because he's reacting to something that we haven't seen yet but apparently going to the wrong floor Yep. Oh yeah. Going he's, to the elevator. Oh, what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I think Ergo there was actually like slightly ahead after that fight. Oh no! Oh no! Don't DNF. Oh, okay. Well, that's it then. Ooh. Well, this yeah, could have been. I I I hit that trainer once when I was like 
going to a wrong floor, like one floor to, I like, went to floor four or something. I was like, I'll just take the, ele the, the stairs. That's probably quicker. Yeah. Then I didn't even see that, uh, <laughs> that guy there. We, we've seen that happen before. Uh, well, GG's to Argo. I think... I think he wasn't out of this yet. But I can definitely understand the frustration. Uh, yeah. Really unfortunate. So yeah, Dynam now. Or, or basically we could only say... has to basically only yeah. has to defend his lead here against Fury. Yeah, uh, I can go for st safe strats at this point. Probably would have needed to go for safe strats anyway with his two IV special attack. Uh... Also, also, maybe we should uh, congratulate Ergote with being free of the tournament. Oh yeah, <laughs> Ergo was having a time last race as well, uh, rough time specifically with Giovanni's gym, so... Yeah. He'd probably be at least a little relieved after this. Here he can't oh. even keep anymore, oh well. Wow. I actually don't know. Uh, I I can't remember. How many monsters ha was trainer has? Let me just look that up again. Probably someone else will find it out sooner than I. But oh well. Uh, let's see. This is the juggler. Uh, Oh, wait. Is it Dalton? Can't, can't even find it. I think it's Juggler Dalton. He has three Pokemon. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, it's okay. Is there even more than one Juggler in this? Three, yeah, that's really slow. Hypno, Haunter, and Kadabra. Yeah. Yeah, you probably even have to, like, make special attack to kill the Hypno. I mean, it's like, like level 30-something. Probably have to still... 34. Know, just called. YOLO, I drop him. That's so sad to see for Agate, but... That's just what can happen in this game sometimes. Yeah, that's uh, slightly defanged, this race, sadly. Yeah, unfortunate, definitely. Fury is like five minutes behind at this point. Uh... We're now kind of be a formality for Dynam to close out the run, especially with safety strats. Picking up the Lapras. Don't know uh, if he's going to go for Lapras strats, but... That that would be fun to see. That would at least be fun to see. did also go for that last round, I think. Uh... But yeah, I haven't seen it in action live yet, so I would definitely like to see it. <laughs> Just has to pick up the Paragon here. Probably it's time to like go out to the bush and look for a wild Porygon. <laughs> he would have the time, but that would be very disrespectful, so. Yeah. It's just, just finish gonna it get out. The... Yeah. Just gonna get the gift one. Now gonna do the shop. Yeah, here uh, we'll see the, st the strats. I'm very sure that he's gonna skip the X defense. For, uh, 
Add a span. Potions, repels. Speeds. Oh. That's by special defense. But I think they can, they're can. they actually useful for Lapras strats, though I'm not sure about that. Uh, it doesn't buy X defense, so we'll definitely go for 2C Giovanni. Yeah. Also doesn't buy a full heal switch, uh, since he hasn't... I think he only had to use one healing item, one status healing item so far, with the uh, um, pewter crunchies and dance gem. He definitely has three awakenings left, and he basically can only get put to sleep at this point, status-wise, or poisoned, but he also has a couple of antidotes and the shader sables left to heal poison. You generally only go for the full heals if you've run out or are very low on one or both of those status heals. Doesn't quite hit the teleporter here, but... Yeah, they're finicky. Definitely. On this one, you want to make sure that you don't move while you're waiting for the spinner, because if you take a step on the teleporter and don't quite exit it and then step again, the game can sometimes force you back to the other side of the te teleporter. You know, teleport you right back. And that's a lot of time wasted right there. So mm -hmm. either step off of the teleporter or don't move until you see the spin, if you're waiting for the spinners. Wow, t going for very emotional slots in the chat right now. <laughs> Just full caps. Alright, let's screen turn one. Definitely the standard fight here for Dynam. Oh, Ooh, special defense good. job turn one is unfortunate. Don't want to see that, because now you could actually get in trouble with Psychic. Ooh. This is a net case. Yeah, goes for the heal. Probably a good call. Yeah, you really don't want to see a second one. Yeah. And now it's fine. The last screen was off, but you outspeed, so uh, Mr. Mime doesn't. You can't go for another last screen here, uh, and the second skull kills. So, uh, did lose one turn overall, but did not risk getting the light screen back up. Special defense job on literally the first psychic is the worst case scenario, basically. I mean, there's other stuff that can go wrong on this Mr. Mime. Uh, just psychic. In theory, you could get no light screen, but psychic with a special defense job in turn one, uh, which would also be awkward. But as long as you remember to teach Thunderbolt ahead of this fight, you're good. Yeah, which is difficult remembering. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just do it after search. You, you never, um, you never forgot. And um, I don't know <laughs> if I've ever <laughs> forgotten. Like, it's. I've been running this game for a year now, uh, off and on. So maybe I forgot it earlier. Early days. I mean, it, it does sound pretty on brand for me to forget something like that, but. Can't remember right now. Anyway, then I'm done with Sabina Fury, meanwhile, on the Saffron shop. Uh, while then I'm doing the post Sabrina menu, which is a, is a big one. You heal. You deposit anything that isn't Stormy or Rapidash, you um, candy to 49. You move your battle items around. 119 and 49. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. This is, this, uh, this is going to be a bad range for Dragonite. It's a good thing that you do it with two controllers. Just 
picking up the teeth here while Puri is entering the gym. I mean, we don't know what Dynam... Okay, Dynam is going for Lepress now, <laughs> according to the chat. Well, Dynam in chat. So we get the good content of the novelty safety strat. Yeah, you can uh, decide if you're going to run it for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't practiced it, so I'm probably not gonna, unless I got an extremely bad star you. I do have well, the notes for the strats, so I could just read off of it, but yeah, I, again, if I just get a regular star me, I'm just gonna go for rapid safety strats or whatever. Oh no, safety strats at all of the race is super close. Caden for Dynam. This is one of those fights that can waste a lot of time, speaking from painful experience here. Uh... Yeah, the thing you don't want to see is turn one minimize. Yep. Protect, perfect. Protect, perfect, yeah. This is free from now. As long as you don't get minimize turn one or uh, toxic turn one. You're safe. I mean, toxic tier one, you just have to heal. Yeah, but it can go minimize turn two. And then you're basically in the same position, just one turn already wasted from the from the toxic. So, um, yeah, anyway, go, it gets through Quaden. Quaden? Caden, nice and easy. Uh, no problem for Dynam. Uh, let's see what we get on Koga here. Fury just finishing up Sabrina. All right, let's see what we get. For Dynam here, Toxic Turn 1. A little slow, you also want to see the protect turn one here, but it is fine. Yeah, that's the protect now, and I can just go for psychic here. Since Dynam <laughs> has very bad special attack, I will not be able to go for any skulls here on uh, Weezing or Venomoth to save psychic PP. So, from the looks of it, didn't go should for the, early yeah, elixir. Yeah, it should have plenty still. Mm -hmm. A pretty standard Koga fight here. Gets a couple of protects. We well, don't want to see them, but uh, yeah. No double protects so far. Koga really isn't the bad part in Koga's gym. It's Caden. Caden is the bad one. Koga can waste like 10 15 seconds. Caden can waste a solid minute, so. Yeah, yeah like, the fight. Wor wor worst case, Koga has an 8 turn fight, and best case, 5 turn. Mm -hmm. And Caden, like, best case is a 3 turn fight, and worst case, a 10 turn fight. There's just way more. Yeah, actually, I mean, <laughs> worst case for Caden is, like, infinite turns, right? If you just don't miss anything, uh, don't hit anything, but yeah, I Sandy mean, in chat. Correctly pointing out that four turn Koga is optimal if um, Koga goes for explosion turn one. One reason. Okay, yeah. But you can like summon Rapidash and Stomp. You can because start jumping, yeah. St stomp uh, doesn't ignore uh, minimize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stomp both uh, ignores the uh, evasiveness boost from minimize and also does double damage on specifically minimized targets. So. It is a decent backup uh, if you feel like, you know, if, if, if it maybe stack two or three minimizers already and you feel like you can't hit it at all and you don't want to keep wasting psychics, just, you know, get out the Rapidash, stomp. It's a little slow, but 
You don't want to run out of psychic PP. Alright, uh, this is actually pretty convenient time timing. Then I'm just gonna enter like a two minute cutscene here, uh, first with arrival in front of the gym and then two more cutscenes in uh, Pallet Town. So we can focus on Fury for a second here with the Caden fight and the upcoming Koga fight. Don't know what Fury's special attack is at, uh, but probably better than Dynams, so may actually yeah. be able to go for some skulls. Yeah, Fury said in chat that his star special attack was bad, but it was better than Dynams. Okay. Protect turn one, that's what you want to see. Three turn, of course. That's good. That's actually faster, I think, than what Dynam got, right? I think Dynam got one protect on Pedro. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, so Caden. Furious is Fury. gaining. Yeah, one turn so far. Uh, though Dynam did get, I think, a protect on every Mon on Koga, so there's more time to be saved here. Don't call it a comeback. No. No, 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 we definitely can't call it a comeback yet. I mean, Fury can still play for, like, the top 10 tournament position here. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, the next round is going to be just the top 7 runners of the tournament. So the fastest 3 runners eliminated this round will also be in the top 10. Currently, only one eliminated runner has finished, uh, Joker with a 316.43. So, as long as Fury beats that, he has a good chance of uh, finishing in the top 10. Maybe a little bit of a, uh, an incentive to not DNF, especially if someone already DNF'd in the race. All right, Denim now in Giovanni's gym. We'll definitely take it slow here. Like, I'm not gonna go for one C Samuel. If he does get a couple of protects here on Koga as well. I'm pretty sure the star just has a range on Hydro Pump anyway. Wait, let me check that. 119 special attack, so... Uh, let's I think that's see even for a, Samuel. Like, not even a range. I that's think a it's... thirteen. That's a thirteen and sixteen range on Hydro Pump. Ooh. That's how bad the star is. Uh, looking ahead, this would probably be worse than a coin flip range for Hydro Pump on on Kangaskhan. So. Uh, Let's hope he gets a special attack AV at level 50, maybe. That would be... You could maybe breathe with a sigh of relief a little bit, at least. <laughs> I mean, the star is still awful, but... We take what we can get. Yeah, then I'm just gonna... Summon the second controller after this fight, uh, do the standard two controller strat. To get through the Giovanni fight and uh, Fury now gonna do the post Koga menu and fly to Viridian City as well. Also going for late elixir here. Oops. There we go, flying now. So let's see if Dynamo's Rapidash dies here. Uh, I think it is slightly faster to have the Rapidash die because you don't have to do the input every time. But that does mean that you have to menu after and heal, where if Rapidash survives, you can just heal and battle. Yeah, but you don't have to um, spend some in a second if it dies. Like a tiny extra time save. 
Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Because if you don't have a, it's like automatically desummons it, and it dies. It dies, good. So there's two cases in which Rapidash can survive here. Uh, case number one, it has incredibly high HP and defense, which of course can happen. Stats are random, or IVs are random at least, um, and also AVs. And then the other is through Power of Love, uh, the friendship mechanic in this game with high friendship Pokemon have a low chance of just hanging on at 1 HP. And since you are riding on Rapidash, which increases its friendship gain just from walking around, uh, Rapidash definitely can hang on here with Power of Love. Yeah. 123, they're... okay, at 50. For Dynam. <laughs> that isn't that is a coin flip range on the Hydro Pump for Naomi's Kangaskhan. That's so bad. <laughs> Sorry, what what did you want to say, Sheep? No, yeah, it's um it, it's it's just the the, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, the, 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 it's so weird. The, like the power of love is. They're only like if I think it's like equal in spots where it's good and in spots where it's bad. Depending on your strats. But like for, for like Eevee or Pikachu, it's often like pretty good to have power of love. Mm -hmm. And then in the star me section, it's basically always bad to have power of love. Or more often, I mean, you can maybe like a, a get a, a get awakening or something, but like surviving yeah. mostly on the second Pokemon that you really yeah. want to die. The kind of power of love that lets you lets you hang hang on on one HP is really only useful if things have already gone very badly. Like I don't know, you get the faint, you know. Uh, but power of love can also just randomly heal your status conditions, and that can very much be useful in the Starmie section of the run. So. Dynam is letting us know in chat he's under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure? Or at least his bladder is under pressure. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's uh, that's unfortunate for Dynam. <laughs> you can go. No. <laughs> that is kind of PM. All right. Uh, then I'm now on the rival fight. I didn't check his speed at 50, but I'm pretty sure it's fine since he outsped the Rapidash, or at least speed tied and won the, uh, won the speed tie. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's good enough to skip the X special, the X, uh, speed. Can't, you can never skip the X speed in Pika version because Jolteon is faster than Raichu. Ah. So yeah, in in, in EV version, if you have 140 speed on the star, uh, you're faster than the right shoe, and you can skip the X speed, which is good because it's one less X item used, uh, which both means that you'll hit the friendship threshold for turnarounds later, and it's also just a menu less. Yeah, I, I also love how the notes say the speed for the Gengar. Speed for the Gengar? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know if you have exceptionally <laughs> high speed, you can outspeed Agatha's Arbok. I don't think I've ever gotten it, though. I... Hmm. <laughs> Oh well. Uh Dynam done with rival yeah, it's, now and it's, on yeah, it's, you, you you outspeed the R uh, the Arbok, it's the Gengar. You need one hundred and fifty five speed. Oh it is the Gengar, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah yeah. Correct. I just Of course. Yeah, it's, it makes, it's, it's, it makes it's, a lot more yeah, sense. You, you always expeed on, on Arbok, so that's why uh, yeah, yeah. And normally it outspeeds you in the when you see it earlier. Yeah. And just in James. That was kind of a Mistake on my end. Anyway, then I'm going for the bat check. Ooh, Fury going for one C, but surviving everything. Didn't get crit. This looks like one C. Yeah, this isn't the two C mm -hmm. angle. 
So even if Rapidash feigns the angle is slightly different for the rest of the fight. So even if you didn't pay attention like me, you can still tell uh, whether it was 1C or 2C at the beginning. But yeah, that is slightly faster than doing a 2C. Sadly, Fury will still have to do an extra menu here because this is very likely quick attack range unless he has good uh, defense, which I don't know, but Fury probably does. But 19 HP usually is quick attack range for Pitchy Yachts. Gonna check that one more time. Uh, yeah, yes. 25. Or 27 is a high rule. Yeah, even if you have exceptional defense, Pyro could still kill you on the quick attack here. So we'll have to heal. Which makes it not quite as worth it to go for the 1c. Then I'm definitely has to go for 2c Naomi here. Naomi isn't get, getting 1c today. Uh, decent enough from Dynam. I guess Fury could still risk it. But since uh, they already went for 2c Samuel, I kind of don't think they will. Uh, Dynam still has to both hit the Hydro Pump and hit the range here, which I guess we'll see. It's a hit. Hits the range. Easy. It's easy like that. Yeah. What what range? <laughs> yeah. Again, that was a 50-50 for Danum to hit uh, that range. So, wins the coin flip. Guess the rich get richer. After all. Why is everyone why is everyone suggesting BM strats today? Just, just play the run out normally. Come on. <laughs> Let Dan and play it out normally. People like corrupting people. <laughs> Guess that is true. Alright. Nelson next. I am definitely sure that Dan will have to go for two skulls here, like Thunderbolt is not going to do half health of that Hypno. Usually you won't go for Thunderbolt because Thunderbolt has a lower range of paralyzing, a lower rate of paralyzing than uh, Scald has burning. And so to avoid the status, like if you have good enough special attack, you can uh, use Thunderbolt here. Hypnosis misses for Dynam, very nice. Uh, so yeah, go for the Scald, it's safer. Probably could have thunderbolted it on the second turn here, because Scald knocked it really low. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter anymore. Oh no, it doesn't matter at all, actually. I I still like going for Scald. Ooh. Ooh, that was so close, almost hit the <laughs> optional there. Went a little bit early, but as soon as they start spinning, they cannot see you anymore. Uh, in this game, at least. Uh, there are other Pokemon games, like the games in Gen 6, where the spinners see you... Yeah, picks up the fresh water here for uh, Lapras Strats, in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah, and Aura specifically, spinners see you while they spin as well. So uh, that is our um, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, uh, Sapphire. What is going on with my language today? Omega Ruby. <laughs> Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, and also in uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Platinum. Shining Pearl. Yeah. Also, so Shining Pearl. They also have like the weird spinner view angles. Yeah, but the, everything is just weird in that game anyway. So <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. All right, then I'm now going for Alexa Skip. Last trainer skip of the run. Oh, Kobe skip. It. Well, I mean, Kobe skip is still a thing, but. Yep. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Manage Kobe skip. Yeah, the other trainer here next to Caroline, both of them are bad, but Caroline is bad, but Kobe is even worse because Kobe has an electrode, I think. Which is another one of those Pokemon that uh, Starmie has a hard time with. 
Okay, let's see Dynam hit the Hydro Pump and hit the range again. Perfect, Jesus Christ. Okay, Dynam does not have any issues with ranges here. Yeah, a, a Colby has Electro, Kingler, Pidgeot, and Rhydon. That's four Pokemon, okay. Well, uh, yeah. This uh, Electro Hydro Pump. Has, Electro only has two moves Thunder and Swift. So if Thunder hits, you're dead. Yeah, just, just that. Don't do it. Uh, don't don't fight Kobe. Just fight Caroline instead, even though she sex as well. Uh, and I but... don't think you won it, King Kingler with Psychic, or maybe you do. I just go for T balls. I don't know. Uh. Actually, wait. Uh, Kingler has like miserable special defense. Maybe Psychic would be enough. Yeah, but... that's low. Fifty nine special defense. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, so it will die. Yeah. Never mind. So you can save the super effective text blocks. You don't get turnarounds at this point on the run, but anyway, just don't hit Kobe. <laughs> just, just, just go for Caroline. Yeah. Listen and, to uh, uh, listen to Triff, someone who's also in this round. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Fo follow her advice. <laughs> Alright, then I'm just pushing the boulder. Such a great puzzle. Mm hmm yeah. Meanwhile, Fury pushing a different boulder here in a second. And then fighting Nelson. Then I'm now on Dawson. The final boss of Victory Road. With his power whipping Lickitung. Yeah, I can't scold here. No, so we'll have Psychic, also means we'll have to scald the Onyx on uh, Bruno, which depending on how many X items he used already means that he'll get an extra turn around. Right. Here we also going for Scald and gets the burn. Oof. Also gets put to sleep. At least the headbutt didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, damage doesn't really matter on Nelson. Since you're gonna get the free heal after anyway. So, Dynam's down with Dawson. Probably can just skip the full story, yeah. Just gonna go for to see Agatha. Uh, which I think is just part of Leprostat anyway, so... Uh, that's a skip. 250. Yeah, this is like a two, two, uh, 304 pace right now for Danim. So, definitely very solid pace. Um, actually, let me check. I think the that's the fastest pace this tournament, or this, this round at least. Yeah, I mean, so far there's only one race uh, with Etiquette finishing in first at a 3.05.06. Uh, what, two days yeah. ago? Uh, yeah, that so... was also a wild race. <laughs> okay. Uh, if Danim gets the 3.04 here, that'll put him in a good position to be in pot two for uh, round five. But pots don't really matter at this point. The top seven runners, everybody's going to be scary. Like, doesn't really matter who you can avoid. Yeah, it's uh, everyone's a problem now. Yeah. So, Lorelai. What's matter for seeding? And two out of two Colby skip. But how does seeding matter? That's the that's the thing that I don't see. Anyway. What's matter when you think of Lorelei? I, okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, you you do you. Yeah, the two slows and the uh, I just um, you know. <laughs> 
what I'm saying is that anyone who's going to be in the semifinals will be scary. And uh, like Etiquette, yeah. for instance, could end up in pot three. So is it really? Oh, then he's a pushover if he split pot three. <laughs> you don't have to fear him at all anymore. Okay, we're getting. Oh no, diamond! Bit... Oh. Ah. There we go. We're back. So good. Yeah. Um. No, but I also wouldn't like to face anyone else in the semifinals, Phoenix. Uh, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I mean, I just, I just lost to Tipat and Amber last turn. Uh, you know, well, there, I know what there, it's like. There, there's a there's a guaranteed way to not have to lose to any of them. That is true. Just lose this turn. This uh, exactly. Right. Uh, <laughs> But jokes aside, down and down with Lorelei, Fury pushing the final boulder. Forever. Yeah, this is 20 times you press A to push. And sometimes Lapras is like, hey, I'm here for the, sure the Dynam... Rapidash. Yeah, pretty sure Dynam didn't save, so if he gets faint. This race is. Um... Actually, very much back to even again. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't happen. Uh, nah, this should not be high range now. That's too high. We're good. Three, We're fine. Pre roll, pre -roll crit, rate, uh, crit uh, faints. That could happen, yes. Pre roll into actual crit. Uh, but you still got a but, level up here, so it's just out of faint range. I mean, that would still count, right? If it pre-rolls crit faint and then just it goes for faint. crit faint. Yeah, that's I mean, you, I think you, that's you, the... hit, you, you hit faint, you get hit by faint, you don't die. Yeah, I think that still counts for the bounty. Uh, but I'm not sure about the... Yeah, bounty does not specify death. Okay, that's what I figured. So I guess we could still see faint here, but it's very unlikely to actual, actually kill the Adam's run. Or mm -hmm. at least kill the Starmie here and... Uh, the Lapras in the back, bring that out, or force Danim back to the center. No, oh, Lapras is in the back, so... Nope, there we go, hit money is down. No no faint, Danim doesn't get the bounty. Oh, not, not this round. Yeah, it still does have up to two chances to get it. <laughs> And I mean, it. I, I I have lost a round to getting a pre-roll crit into an actual crit. That was a fun experience. Oof. Blaine. Nine deals quick attack. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It was like, okay. Well, there there really go two sad. hours. Yeah. All right. Bingus is here, everybody. Uh, okay, never mind. It was just a turnaround. I, I thought that Abrox survived for a second. <laughs> yeah. TC. Agatha just has to set up the X speed on the Weezing. And now we're good to go. Could even consider just using another X speed and then scalding. But it doesn't save too much time since uh, you still have to do that. Yeah, actually, it does go for it. Okay. And then can heal on the next turn and uh, Ether on the final turn. With Zapras' turn while still hitting everything with Starmy. Yeah, and saving the the turnarounds. Yeah, that's neat. Neat benefit of 2C Agatha. 2C starts in general don't lose too much time in Let's Go, uh, even though you think they may, but you don't even have to go into the menu now after, which you would usually have to do with 1C, so this is a uh, surprisingly efficient safety strat. Want to make sure yeah. to actually ether psychic here. 
yeah, something uh, Eevee has no problem with because you just get an elixir instead of an ether. Yeah. Bingus gets a level up. Now 36. So Lapras is a good partner for safety strats because it has Ice Shard, which is a priority ice type move. It's quite effective against Dragonite. So if you have really, really bad special attack, uh, that guarantees the Dragonite knockout. And also you can set it up in a way where Lapras is pretty low after the fight, so it's guaranteed to die to Champ's Mega Pidgeot, so you don't have to carry it through the entire fight like you would have to do if you did um, Rapidash safety strats. Well, Rapidash has a very real chance of surviving. But, yeah, for that to happen, Lapras does have to get hit here by the Seedra, which didn't happen, so... Yeah, probably doesn't get the guaranteed knockout on Lapras later. Yeah, Dynam did pick up the fresh water. Uh, <laughs> Fury got Stealth Rock here from Onyx, so also definitely won't get faint. Since he's at like 61 HP right now, so no way of getting the super crit roll even is <laughs> super crit good old double damage crit instead of uh, the 1.5 yeah like back to the gen 1 crit where it doubles your level mm. 132 special attack so with regular 1c strats this would be a range on the dragonite of 11 and 16. <laughs> e. This would also have a psychic range on uh, Marowak if you went to plus 4 on champ. But since you almost always go for plus 6 on champ in Pika anyway, uh, that's not really an issue. Yeah, and there goes the Dragonite with the extra ice shard damage. No problem at all. Uh, also, yeah, no faint. <laughs> no faint for Fury. Doesn't cash in on the bounty. Not that surprising. Another race without faint. But there are still a couple of races left in the tournament, so, you know, we could still see it. Don't give up hope, content lovers. Then I'm actually going for a safe here, interesting. Can anything go wrong? On champ? Um, with Lapras strats? I guess you could miss some ranges, but just got the Marowak that gets rid of that range. Yeah, I guess you could still get crits. I mean, the worst thing could still happen. Well, let's see a play out for uh, Denim while Fury is on Agatha. Once he strats. Yeah, pretty standard. Going for the photo star here. I, I would say that in this tournament, two C strats have been more standard. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I've always gone for one C so far. Okay, yeah, Aslash on Lapras is good. But I don't think this is necessarily in quick attack range for Pidgeot or for Drapion later. Yeah, Pajir goes down to the plus four Thunderbolts. Yeah, I don't think this... Uh, I don't think this dies for Denim. The Repetition also has quick attack, but yeah. I mean, it's very unlikely that they all just randomly go for a quick attack if they don't see the kill. The kill. Yeah. yeah. No. 
Jotun just goes down. And yeah, Leprous has uh, missed, not haze. And that's just gonna be... Pretty routine end to the fight here for Dynam. And yeah, this is a three or four time for them. Really good time for the tournament setting. Might even be um might even be the best time best tournament time for Dynam yet. Not sure what they got earlier, three or six in round one, three or five in round two. I think three or five was the best. Yeah, yeah, so, and three or eight around three. So this will be a tournament, tournament PV at least for Dynam. Uh, really solid race. Kept the cool head through all of it, even when no star you would show up, and the star you that did show up had terrible special attack. <laughs> Stuck it out and will win this race, will stay in the tournament. Uh, Fury will get eliminated. But it's still on, definitely on a sub 310 pace here. So, uh, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely a solid run out of him as well. Bingus gets to be in the lead for uh, in the Hall of Fame here, and uh, that's going to be time for Dynam. Three or four thirty-two in the race time, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure he'll join us after his uh, bathroom break. <laughs> so, uh, here is the Starmie has one hundred and fifty-four speed. So. Ooh, that's fast, but sadly It's not... a fast one. Yeah, sadly not fast enough to uh, outspeed Agatha. Uh... Oh well. Yeah, pretty standard as well. Stump is uh, also just good to finish off Dragonite if you can to uh, get it down with Psychic. Didn't see uh, his Star 53 special attack here. Probably still a better range than what Dynam would have gotten, so maybe at I, least I like think, a 12 and 16. What? I think it was uh, 134. So. 134, okay, so that's 13 and 16. Also not great, but. Better than Dynams, for sure. By two points. Yeah, going into the fight now. Uh Phone controller? Guess we'll see. Could just summon it in battle. True, true. Or going full one C threats. Without saving. Maybe. Potentially still PB with one C. I don't know. Actually, no, no way. <laughs> no, goes for one C. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't want to spot anything. Hello. Hello, Denim. Hello. GG. Oh, I am relieved. Thank you. <laughs> and there's the Starmie crit. Uh, that's the crit of Mass Slash. Uh, oh, no. Forfeit from Fury. I saw it in the race time 10 seconds ago, but that's really, really unfortunate uh, to get at this late. Yeah. Also with, also with Fury. Ergo, that's definitely not how I wanted to win, but GG's to Ergo and Fury. Yeah, definitely. Huge GG to everyone involved. Yeah, GG. That was uh, 
that, that was a really cl close race between like all three of you for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, 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 I would sweating. say that like <laughs> after the Archer fight, I think uh, Ergo was like slightly ahead by like seconds. Yeah, not for sure. Uh, I think he was still a catch down, so I think it was no. He was about... he was actually catch up at that point. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I still had an evolved muck at that point, and Ergo was finished with all of uh, their evolutions. Okay. Well, in so... that case, yeah, that's a really frustrating spot to run into an optional, especially one with three uh, Pokemon. So yeah, yeah unfortunate end to Ergo's uh, tournament. Uh, but yeah, Gigi, what 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 do you think about your run, Dynam? Uh, I'll hit the low points first. Um, one, sure. I did not know that Sh Sandshrew could possibly outspeed a Growlithe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that caught me by the surprise. And then obviously, like waiting along Route 21 for like what felt like decades for a star, and then one finally popped up, and then it wasn't even a good star. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, this like. I mean, this is my best tournament time so far, yeah. uh, so I can't really complain all too much. Outside of those things, uh, I don't think this run could have PB'd anyway, but mm -hmm. it would have been pretty close, so overall, yeah. like, just happy with my play regardless of the RNG. Yeah, you can definitely be happy with that. Uh, very well executed, and sometimes you can't really help the RNG, so... Yeah, exactly. Well, you did manage to stay in the tournament. Uh, that's the fastest winning time so far out of two uh, races finished. So, uh, good I mean, shot next at race could next round, yeah. Yeah, next race could definitely change that, though. I mean, true, I guess. Uh, oh, my, definitely, never mind. Yeah, New Amber Aspect Spider, I believe, is the next race. Yeah, up. that's... that's uh, uh, that's going to be a wild one. Uh, <laughs> well. We're also joined by Fury, I think. Hello, Hello. Fury. GG's. Sorry about the crit. GG, Dynam. Oh, that was fine. Hardly the problem this run. Because yeah. your, run was, your run was really solid for most of it, I... Run was fine yeah. until hideout. It was like it was very similar to a run I had a couple of days ago. Yeah, the, um, the, sh the shame was we couldn't see anything of you in hideout. Yeah. So tell so us what I lost. I probably lost like two minutes in hideout. I was no. comfortably on three o five. Like on a normal run, it would have three o five mm. uh, for the rest of it because I just never got that unlucky. But yeah, I had a plus special attack. Star, uh, not Star, uh, Eevee, which mm -hmm. did nothing, because I literally missed every single range, and Dude. got, like, really hard punished for it. Uh, I got para, full para on, like, JNJ1 as well. Um, and yeah, just awful run all around. Uh, really bad catches as well, uh, starting with Route 10. Um, but like, even with the bad catches, I was exiting tunnel, still ahead of PB, hmm. which would have been like comfortable. Um, if I, but yeah, then it just snowballed, and yeah, yeah. it's pretty much. I was, I was actually like on on the early game, I was like good on EXP, and then I ended up being bad on EXP because nothing would spawn. Um, and yeah, awful run. At that point, I wanted to DNF like really early on, but oh. it was technically still possible. Even after that bad hideout, I could still technically um, TB because my PB dies to champ. Um, Ooh, but okay, yeah, yeah, just the bad catches, kind of. And then I had like the worst route twenty one, I think. I had a really bad motion control moment on the tentacle. I ended up getting oh, no. two breakouts. Yeah, the, uh, the star you uh, start you running. No, was that, that was, Ergo's star that, that ran oh, away? Yeah, that's Ergo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, My star. I think you were the one who ran out of Ultra Balls. 
right? I did run out of ultra balls for coughing, and then I had a motion yeah. control moment on the coughing, and somehow it still stayed in the balls. Whatever. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that was Awful. that was a rough section. Yeah, well, I'm at the at least... judge. Yeah, sorry, Danim, go ahead. Oh, I was about to say, I'm at the judge right now, and special attack, as you all might have guessed, not so good. <laughs> not so good, yeah. Yeah, um, I, did, kind of I did the calcs, and it was like zero, one, or two. Like earlier, at like level 47, so I think. That's yeah, really, it was really pretty bad. bad. My star wasn't zero IV, but it was pretty bad as well, uh, special attack wise. Yeah, yours yeah, you was had, slightly better. You yeah. had two more special attack than Danim star at 53. Uh, Danim had 132, you had 134, I believe. So yeah. uh, those are. Both two very bad special attack stats. Uh, Yours really... was a fast one. Really yeah, bad. I could skip the XP on Rival, but that oh, was about nice. it. Yeah, you're always almost uh, not quite fast enough for the Gengar. Uh, yeah, uh, still quite a bit, quite a bit to go. I think I think it's like 155 that we need. I think I was with 149, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it's stupid fast at Gengar. Yeah. I think we've only seen like two stars outspeeded in the tournament. Which is like two that I've ever seen ever. <laughs> you do have to yeah. be exceptionally fast to get that. So, uh does anyone have any last words here before we take a look at the schedule? Yeah, Fury, looking back at the tournaments, now you're free of the tournaments, at least running wise. You might <laughs> oh, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I was I'm actually, so after, week. after the run I had a couple of days ago, I was like, you know, maybe I can like get a run or two every now and then after the tourney. Because like, I feel like as long as I have a normal run, I will get a 305. Um, but after like the game being so mean to me on this run, I just I don't I don't think I want to play this anymore for a while. Absolutely <laughs> understandable. Fair. Yeah, I mean I didn't really have much. Like I, at least it's nice to know that I like even if I had like a good run, I couldn't win. So I'm less sad about that because Dynam had a really good time. Uh, but I am sad that I couldn't like PB or. Yeah, you've been on a PB tear as of late, so it would have been really great to see you get one more. Yeah, I think I PB like my last three or four runs that finished. So, wow. Yeah, that's really impressive. Yeah, that's awesome. But I didn't have to like much to in terms of expectations. Like getting to round four was already more than I would expect. Um, but yeah, my big, my biggest tool for the tournament was just help. With organizing and tech and all that, I literally tried the run for the first time on the day that signups closed, and <laughs> wow. I was like, "Okay, this is kind of fun, so I'll just join." Uh, but yeah, it was a fun game to learn for sure. But I'm done with it for now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year, next tournaments. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh... Thank you so much for your insight, Danum and Fury. Before we end things here for uh, the time being, let's take a look at the upcoming races. Because uh, there's just three races left this round, uh, in this round four, uh, starting later tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. We have New Amber versus Aspect versus Spider. Uh, Amber really only has Caroline to thank for even being in the lower bracket, losing to T-Pad last round. Uh, but Aspect had a great round three race, so uh, this should be an exciting matchup. Uh, then after that, uh, at 12 p.m. tomorrow will be a very important race for me personally, uh, because it's uh, me versus Sandy Beach versus Iron. Uh, and Sandy has been improving so much, I am genuinely scared so uh you don't want to miss it <laughs> and then last but certainly not least closing out round four we have the upper bracket final between thomas patrick wx wx uh Etchy and headstrong 1290 the winner moves on straight to the grand final 
right? Uh, losers get another chance in the semifinals. And Pickham's were in shambles last round with keypad and has strong qualifying over uh, Amber and Etiquette. So will they be able to also topple Etchy? That's the that's the big question here. Well, you can find out. You can find out on Wednesday at six thirty Eastern time. Anyway, Sheep, do you have anything to add here before we sign off? Uh, no, I want to wish you good luck tomorrow. I'll be commentating, so for your race and uh, for Sandy and Iron, looking forward to it. Uh, and uh, well, for all the other people, uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah. All right. Uh... Before we go, yeah, make sure to follow the channel so you can return to us for the upcoming races. But uh, until then, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great weekend.